haircut. <laughs> Good evening. Hey, Happy yo. Friday. Friday. <laughs> Are you going to do your intro? I guess. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I should have checked that first. Okay, go ahead. Do your intro again, sir. Hey, yo. Welcome to the wonderful world of Hunger Heath. Now, I am not a classically trained chef. What I am is a self-taught home cook. I have studied under several television chefs. I have a PhD from YouTube University and a black belt in Google Foo. I love to cook. The only thing I love more than cooking is my wife, the sensational Shelly Eats Steak. Together we host, which you're watching right now. This happens every Friday night, 6.30 Central. We call this the Friday Night Feast. We cook up an entree, make a couple little snacks, show you all how we do it. Then we spend the rest of the evening just chewing the fat with all of our friends and the hungry horde. We love having y'all over for dinner sometime. <laughs> you need to lift your chair. No. Perfect. I felt really, really tall <laughs> you are really tall now i feel like i'm like i know like you're a child next to That's me good. uh thank you all so much for tuning in tonight we really appreciate it everybody that shows up for our lives thank you so very much we just love having y'all here having y'all with us for dinner and uh, i hope everybody is had a good dinner or is having a good dinner tonight yeah, so go ahead, comment, let us know what did you have or what are you planning on having. And while we get started, so we're going to be making just some meatballs tonight, right? Balls. Um, so we got really good deals on ground beef for two ninety seven a pound, and not only that, like that's a good deal in its own, y'all. But he, when he went today to get it. They also had the chuck roast on sale for the same price. Right. But when he got the ground beef, he uh, found a markdown, an additional 25% oh, right. off. I started, but they had nine of them that way. And I started to buy them all. And she's like, no, slow down, Turbo. We don't need nine of them. It's like, but we do. We'll eat them. Well, it isn't that we don't need them. It's you only have X amount of money. <laughs> and so I was like, do you want to? To have the prime rib roast, or do you want all ground beef? We found prime rib roast for three seventy-seven a pound today too. Yes, and because we were going to go to Kroger tomorrow and get some. Actually, I was going to go today and get one, and we're going to go tomorrow and get two more because it was limit one per person. But oh, sorry, y'all. Uh, the HEB was actually what did you say twenty cents cheaper. Yeah, Kroger was three ninety-seven a pound, and the um. H-E-B, when he showed up there, like it was not in their weekly ad. And when he showed up, it was three seventy seven dollars a pound for a uh, rib roast. She was on Yahtzee. So it was the huge roast, right? I took it over to the, cut, uh, to the uh, meat counter and had him slice it into steaks for us. So I told him, I said, pick out the two biggest because somebody for Christmas said, hey, I want you to have some rib roast. So they sent us money for rib roast specifically, which is amazing. Thank you. Kismet. And so I was like, then pick out the two biggest rib roast. And so he did. And they were each about 12 pounds. And they, when they cut them, they cut them into 10 steaks. So we got 20 steaks, y'all. And these are like hunk of big steaks, like an inch thick, just Big, meaty, juicy steaks. And they're bone in, too, which is my favorite. Yeah, so that'll grow great in the sous vide. So we we're very fortunate today. So he saved there, and then he got the meat 25% off of already two ninety seven a pound. I mean, that's just, that's wow. So we're definitely doing well there. Um, and then they still had a special they had last week where I bought a thing of uh, hot, I mean, of, uh, yeah, hot sauce, and you get a free bag of... Pork rinds. Yeah. So, so 
He did Score. great. Yes. And then one thing I like about Kroger is they'll send you things where you get like some freebies. So uh, tomorrow we're going to stop by there because they have happy eggs a dollar off. Um, and then they also have a free Sargento sliced cheese. Oh, nice. I like so, that brand. Yeah, we do like Sargento. Does anybody else uh, ever eat Sargento cheese? So, and he always uses the sliced cheese. So, hey, a free package is a free package because I think they're normally two fifty to three dollars each. Yeah. But I, well, I'm real uh, silly about it though because they have like an I think an eight, a ten, and a twelve pack. And I always get yes. the twelve pack to make sure I get the most. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the same weight, but yes. I know. But there's thinner slices, and they just go further. Uh, so let's say hello. Thank y'all. Oh, thank y'all. Uh, Shauna was first today. Way to go, Shauna! Howdy, howdy, howdy! Uh, Rocky Mountain girls here. Hey, hey Rocky Mountain. Uh, Shauna said because she's too lazy to go anywhere else. Uh, excuse me. This is a lot of work to show up for this, uh -huh. especially when you're the moderator extraordinaire. Uh, Rocky Mountain girl said, "I made the fudge this morning and added chocolate chips." Oh, oh, wow. Still too peanut buttery for me, thinking I should use cocoa powder. Oh, wow. That sounds so good, though. It does. Uh, maybe I'll make some fudge next week for us. Uh, Shauna said, uh, sorry, trying to clear my table so I could put inserts in my cards and mailing labels on envelopes. I'm so close. Oh, wow. I, I'm going to tell y'all, So I just mailed out all of our cards yesterday. <laughs> So I'm hoping that everybody gets on by Christmas, but uh, we'll see. Uh, Rocky Mountain Girl said, doing last minute feels like it anyways Christmas shopping since they lost my other package. Oh, oh no. That's not That good. sucks. No bueno. Um, I, I mean, basically, I think we're completely done with doing any type of, no, nah, it's not on. Of course it's not. <laughs> Any type of uh, Christmas shopping. But then in hide you. That's right. Where uh, shall we go? Uh, we'll show them in a little while. Uh, but anyways, tell me who all has plans to do. Like, is anybody else done with their Christmas shopping? Anybody yep. else still doing it? <laughs> I know, right? Just Jen's here. Hey, hey Jen, Jen. How are you doing? Right family's here. Hey, hey right hey, family. family. Hey, Brantley. And today is Fist bump, Brantley. And today's Elizabeth's birthday. Hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Elizabeth. My birthday gift to you is I'm not going to sing to you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can't carry a tune in, in a bucket. Uh, that's right. I see Carrie's here. Hey, brother. Jen said, I'm going to try to film a new recipe, so I may be just watching on mute. Oh, oh fun. Geez. Do we get a hint on what it is? Uh, Carrie said he's got 322 days of no coffee or caffeine. Way to go. So what happens if you lose track of how many days? I guess he just goes back in the lives and looks. Or he starts drinking it again. Oh. Uh, Swilson's here. Hey, hey Stacey. Uh, just Jason Keto's here. Hey, brother. hey, Jason. Carrie said, I did the yard today. It got a lot of leaves off the yard. Oh, well, Carrie... Did you uh, put them all in mine? Because I, that's a, there's a lot of them here. So 15 bags later, I can see the yard again. Oh, Carrie, if you feel like you need more exercise, you are more than welcome to come to our house because our front yard definitely needs it. The backyard, I've been blowing off leaves off of our um, deck. deck for, like, it seems like every day I blow it off, it's all back the next day. I think she went through so, three batteries on the uh, blower. Yes, so definitely, um, you know, come up here and, and you've got a job. We'll feed you. How about that? Luz is here. Hey, hey. welcome back. Bluegrass Girls here said go hit that thumbs up while thank you wait you. for our horde queen and king. Aww. Thank you, Sarah. Yes, thank you all for hitting the thumbs up. That really helps us and it just means the world to us when you hit the thumbs up when you comment that really helps as well so thank you all for doing that jennifer said good evening beautiful people howdy, good howdy, evening, howdy. beautiful jennifer 
and Jackie's here. She goes, hey. howdy, hey, I've got a jar of Rayos myself. Lasagna again. Ooh, nice. that sounds good. 22Q Cat says, hi, he, Shelly, Samson, Delilah, and the wonderful Horde. Howdy, hi, howdy, howdy. Hi, Cat. Welcome back. Bluegrass Girl said, I can't reply. Armpit deep in frosting a cake for family tomorrow. Oh. That's that Italian cake, right? Oh, sounds amazing. I pre keto, I freaking loved Italian cake. That was so good to me. And there was a place we used to go um, that was not too far from here. Remember Black Walnut? And they yeah. had the best Italian cream cake. Like every time I was just like, oh, that's what I want. And it would be like so high. And oh my gosh. Sharon's here. Hey, Sharon, how you doing? Shauna said, I thought something happened to my CGM. Went to test. Forgot I changed it. And it's on the other side now. Oh, <laughs> You just got it walked away from you, huh? Right. Moved to the other side of the world. Oh, wow. Mary says, hi, all. Doing my usual Killing last 30 minutes of my shift. You look amazing, Shelly. You were doing something right. Oh, Mary it says that she's been a member for two months. Well, thank you for being a member, yes, Mary. Thank and you. Thank you for your right. kind words. Sometimes it does feel like I'm doing something, and then other times, Ooh. like I'm going to tell y'all, you'll see this next week. I don't think Brussels are my friend, which is much to Heath's uh, disappointment. She made me start eating them. Fell in love with them, and now she's taking them away. <laughs> well, not take it away, but maybe we don't have every single night for a week. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't buy the big bag of Sam's anymore. Right? Oh, yeah. That reminds me. And then I'm going to say hello, and then I've got a couple announcements. Jerry's here. Hey, right, Jerry hey, and Patty. So, two things. One. If you are a channel member, oh, yeah. tomorrow is our cook along. You should have gotten an email from us, a Google email um, about tomorrow's. If you did not, please message me. Um, and if you have any trouble opening that recipe, um, then, you know, please let me know. I know um, I, I have to figure out why it does that, but sometimes it'll say, you have to get permission to see the recipe. I don't understand that. I don't it's put that on secret. there. I know. I'm just like, okay, why does it keep doing that? So if, if that happens, just let me know. I mean, I've got it. Like I can always email just the recipe if for some reason it doesn't open up, but um, I hope the recipe, I hope y'all like it. Um, We'll see. I'll try. I, I'm gonna. Y'all want me to go ahead and tell everybody what it is, or do you want to just let them vote on it? Let, I'm go start. This yeah, butter us, melting. Yeah. Um, so he's going to be making the sauce. So he's going to start by melting some butter. It's about a half got, a stick. We got onions here. We're going to saute. Um. So that's the first announcement. Just as a reminder, I know it was kind of last minute, y'all. And I know with the holidays, some of you won't be able to make it. That's perfectly fine. Um, you know, it's we're here for you. So if you can make it, that's great. But I was like, oh, I either make it for the 17th or Christmas Eve. I'm like, who's going to come on Christmas Eve? Like, that would be ridiculous. Or it was going to be New Year's Eve. And I'm like... Who's going to want to come and spend time with us on New Year's Eve? They cooking. did it last year. No, but cooking oh, on New Year's right. Eve. Oh, thank you. That's so much better. Um, But so I was like, oh, so I feel like the only day was tomorrow. Uh, but I'm sorry, you guys, if, if you're not able to make it, at least you get the recipe. So definitely let us know. And then so that's the number one announcement. I just want to make sure our channel members are aware um okay i see right family said i couldn't get the recipe open okay i'll um message you so send me a little like uh messenger oh, on facebook so i remember um and and then i'll i'll just email you the recipe separate so you don't have to go through the Rigmarole. google meet thing um because i want you to have that recipe and plus i feel like i spend time actually documenting a recipe and creating a recipe card and then it wants to be so silly like that um you don't have clearance i know right so that was first announcement second announcement you guys two weeks from today two weeks 
December 30th. I know um, that's a Friday. My coach is going to be on here live with us. Um, I don't know if she's going to come right on at 630 or a little bit after, but she will be here to answer any of your questions um, to, you know, tell about all of her experience. Again, I love my coach. She's been a coach, a certified nutritionist for over like 10 years. She has a lot of knowledge. She actually used to work on a cruise. She used to work for Royal. So she understands, like if you're going on a cruise, she understands um, cruise life, cruise food. And so she can answer those questions as well. Um, she definitely gave me a few tips on our last cruise. Um, so she'll be here to answer all of your questions. So start thinking now. Make sure you mark your calendars December 30th, the last Friday of the year. Um, Samantha Souza will be live with us to answer all your questions. So I'm so excited. So please, everybody, show up and, um, you know, because she's just like. And don't be shy. Yeah, don't be shy because I'm like, we have such a great community here. And I'm, I'm just, you know, everybody show up and show her how wonderful the horde is, right? Um, so that's really exciting news. I'm just really looking forward to that. And I hope we do well as as well. A little more Pete. So anyways, that's our announcements. And then what Heath is doing right now, he's slicing up some, we had some remaining tomatoes left. So he's just About dicing. A handful. Yeah, he's dicing those up to put in our marinara sauce. I like a chunky marinara. Me too. Um, it's not and, really that chunky though, I guess, really, with only a handful. But well, and something. this uh, jar of the Rayos, I don't know if y'all can tell. It's a little, maybe about three quarters full. I don't know exactly how much we're going to use. We're going to use a lot of it. And then what else are you putting in the marinara? I dinner? have a little bit in my uh, um, evil ooze left. I know. I'm showing them that, but I'll show them how much is left. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like a couple, maybe a tablespoon. Right. I'm going to empty the rest of this into the sauce. Well, I'm going to pour some of this into the uh, pan and then empty the rest of this. And I'm going to pour a little water with it just to rinse it out. And then, speaking of. Oh, and then I have a little bit of um, mushrooms, too. I'm going to dice up that there too as well. But what about hot lime pepper? Also, if you look in the show notes. We have a discount code for our buddies at Hotline. Yes. So you save 10% if you use our discount code, Hungry Horde. Now, he's got everything from, you know, Evil Ooze, which I would consider spicy, not the spiciest. Uh, but he does have mild. Like, Shauna actually loves the garlicky gringo. So yep. I would consider that his entry-level sauce. The butter's going, so I'm going to go add the red, the red onions to it. Okay, great. Um, so he's got lots of options, and he's actually having some pretty good Christmas sales. So if you go over there, you can't stack the coupon. And we're not like affiliates. Like, we don't get anything um, money back on it. Um, it's just showing him, hey, we're spreading the word of a local small Texas company out to the world. And so if y'all want to order, um, you know, either just see what's better using our code or using whatever cell he has going on. But that's what we got going tonight. All right. Let me, let me get on here. Cynthia's here. Hey, hey, Cynthia. Welcome back. And I see Reichwin's here. Hey, Howdy, Reichwin. howdy, howdy. And let's see. Jerry said, I've got ribeyes grilling on the Traeger. Ooh, that sounds delicious. All right. Oh, I see Purple Love and Nana is here. Welcome, Debbie. How are you doing? And 22Q Cat said, I hope you're still doing the breadsticks tonight. I've been looking forward to that ever since I saw the Facebook post. Yes, we are. We actually, you see it's crowded here, right? But we actually have a special pan that we're going to try to use to make these breadsticks. So fingers crossed, it all turns out. Jerry said, so are you going to make moik balls? Um, not tonight. Um, we're just going to do regular meat balls tonight. So like a moik ball is um, beef wrapped in bacon and then cooked. 
um, or you could get really fancy, do the beef wrapped around a piece of cheese and then bacon wrapped around that. And that's like top notch. But no, we're just doing meatballs because the main thing is, um, since we got so much ground beef, so cheap, he decided he wants to have meatballs for his lunch all week. So we're going to make a lot of meatballs, y'all. So we're kind of double duty tonight. We're making our dinner, plus we're going to make um, some for meal prep for his lunches for the week. Kerry said he was going bananas with the markdowns. Oh, he does. When he sees those markdowns, he goes like, oh, my gosh. He was like, I'm going to buy them all. I was like, oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I can't hold on. I got things to do. Rocky Mountain Girl said, holy cow, that's an amazing price. I mean, seriously. Marie's here. Hey, Marie, how are you doing? Reichwood said, fantastic sell, Shelly and he. And uh, Shauna said, wow. What? Should I add? Let me turn this down. I don't need it on five. Yeah. Let's say um, add the tomatoes now. I would do can. mushrooms next. Okay. Uh, Jen said, I got some huge... Uh, I think she said two inch thick ribeyes today. I need to figure out how to cook them. I mean, my favorite way. If they're thick, you're going to reverse sear those. Yeah. You either, if you have a sous vide, then that's going to be probably my best recommendation. Yes. If you don't have a sous vide, then I would recommend a reverse sear. I do them in the oven at 250 for about 25 30, I mean, 15 to 20 minutes each side. Flip it and then sear them off. If you like them, medium rare, which is my favorite way. Um, What's her name? Brown, the chef, the keto chef. Her last name is Brown. What's her first name? Carrie Brown. Carrie Brown. Says oh, the perfect sorry. temperature is 131. Yes. Ever since I heard her say that, I've started doing mine the same way. Yes. Um, and I saw somebody said, uh, 22 Cat said, rib roast for Christmas. How nice. I know. Excited. Jackie said, no, Renee this evening. I don't know where she's I at. mean, I, I thought she said she was coming. So, um, I don't know if you can tell this. She's See, probably just running late. I have like five or so, like five mushrooms. This is what left over. We've been eating the rest of the week. I figured why not just finish them off. So I'm going to rough cut these in a small little bite-sized bites. Bite-sized bites. Bite-sized bites. And then we're just going to add this to the... Uh, Onions. Yeah. Just do it. It'll kind of work quick. Oh, you're fine. Um, so I think she should be coming soon. Uh, let's see. And then um, y'all have seen it in the past where I had a little hot plate right here cooking everything. Which is everything's going on. I didn't have room to set it all up. And I left my microphone way over there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get it. I'll, I'll put it back on after I get up. Um, Jen said, sorry, the ribeye. Oh, I read that. Right family said, all of the meat we bought last week was bad. Oh, oh no. no. I went to make Chris ribeye and it was not good. It looked fine the day before. Oh, no. Oh, I hate that. that is the absolute worst, honestly. Now, with the discount meat, I've had that happen a lot of times. So that's why we're cooking the pack I got today, tonight, and the rest of the quote went straight in the freezer. Yeah, so uh, Renee said she's... Um, in route? Yeah, she had to work late. Work is just for people who don't have hobbies. Well, she don't have a hobby. This her is hobby her hobby. Is work. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's so sad. I hate when that yeah. happens. That's why we've gotten to where basically we're not going to eat it within the next two or three days. Especially with seafood. Oh, well, seafood, maybe we've been doing it the, maybe the next same hour. day yeah. or the next. Yeah. But, oh, that's so I'm sucks. sorry. I'm shredding a tear for you. Seriously. Ugh. I feel your pain. Mm hmm Carrie says, Sargento is so cheesy. Uh-huh. Um, oh, look. Reckman told Jen, she says, if you don't have a sous vide, cook an oven at 200 until 135. That's perfect. Susan said, good evening. Hi, hey. Susan. How are you doing? Uh, oh, Rocky Mountain says, Sargento is yummy. Yes. I know. I do it's enjoy like Sargento. 
Uh, Lloyd is here. Hey, Lloyd. Hey, welcome hey, to the Hungry Horde. Hey, brother. Uh, Sarah says, Sargento Thin Slice make great oven baked crackers. Oh, that's an idea. I've never done that. Oh, that would be good. I usually do it with my bunless burgers. I just put it on the top of it just to make a cheeseburger. Yeah. Oh, Jackie said, I'm playing, but my chat cleared out. Oh, no. That sucks. Shauna said, I made keto chow pecan sticky bun white chocolate fudge with chopped fresh roasted pecans in it. Wow. That sounds amazing. Show off. Carrie <laughs> said, I don't have anyone to shop for. You have yourself? Yep. Shop for yourself. Yeah, uh, I have these mushrooms. Yeah. Y'all love, still love this cutting board. <laughs> Jackie said, speaking of lost packages, my pecan sticky bun was supposed to be here yesterday, and it's still in Utah. Back in the uh, somebody took it. Uh, Purple Love and Nana says, still waiting for some stuff to arrive. Oh, well, it, I, I ordered something and we're waiting for, like, I'm like, I ordered it on Tuesday and it hadn't shipped yet. And I'm like, oh my gosh, when is it going to ship? So I was freaking out. And then I had to contact the seller and they're like, oh yeah, I'm going to get it out tonight. I promise. Go ahead and add it or let it cook down first. Let it cook down a couple minutes. I may have used uh, too small of a pan. Uh, I was wondering. Shauna said, I have to just get my $50 family exchange gift. Ooh, do you know what you're going to do you, with that? For 50 bucks, you get a new family? <laughs> Did I hear that right? Uh huh. JC's here. Hey, said, hey, y'all. Sounds like Texas size prime rib. Santa came to Houston early. Laugh out loud. Right? I am saying, y'all, you, all of y'all are so amazing. Like, you just, the beginning of this month started, I mean, truly the beginning of December started off really rough. And it, it has now turned into, like, a great month. Like, Glorious. Feel so blessed and fortunate. Thanks to all of y'all. Thanks other things that have been happening. It's just like, it just proves again, anytime you're going through something difficult, don't give up. Don't stress out. Don't feel like it's the end of the world. Like my favorite saying is when you get to the end of your rope, tie a knot and hang on. Cause wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah. Cause somebody will be there to help you. And I really feel like that is the truth, y'all. I mean, we're all going to be there to help each other. And even through the darkest moments, those times will pass, right? It will get better. You just have to hang in there. And, and I promise it will get better. So don't feel like you've lost all hope. Always hang on and things will improve. I thought you had Indeed. something to say. No, no, no. I was trying oh. to clear the spot so we can... Go, go oh, yeah, the meat. Oh. What, did I get you? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to start on the meatballs or do you want to start on the breadsticks? Breadsticks. Well, I honestly want to keep an eye on this tomato sauce. I'll fix it and go okay. jump on it next. Then we'll do the Here, I got the you a bucket for the uh, Oh, okay. Egg. So we're going to do our general... A uh, recipe for the Keto Child Drop Biscuits. So just a couple eggs here. And. Now on this tomato sauce, I'm just going to eyeball it. Like I said, I'm just going to grab the jar and start pouring it in. Okay. What about the tomatoes? Do you want to add? I was going to add them next. Oh, okay. That's fine. So um, what we're going to do here, we just got a couple Yeah, I'm just going to put all of it. And we're just going to kind of whisk this together. I don't know why I said whisk together. But anyways. You want to whisk? these eggs up. No, that's fine. I'll hand you it. Um, oh, Cynthia says they got Christmas shopping all day tomorrow. Wow, girl. I'll be with you. Like No, I'll be thinking about it. It's going to be crazy. She'll weekend. be dreaming about it when she's still sleeping in tomorrow. Is what she's going to do. I really wanted to sleep in this morning. So what I'm going to do is add these tomatoes now. But yes, 
like, oh, this weekend, you just know it's going to be crazy. Shauna said, I imagine he has a chalkboard with hash marks. <laughs> Susan said, I was going to do Christmas cards that has gone out the window. Oh, well, that's okay. I mean, it. I feel like 2020s have been like a crazy decade so far, right? So no uh, qualms over not getting cards out. No big deal there. We know the sentiment is there. That's what's important. I can tell that's all that's left this bottle. Okay. Well, I tilted it so it looks bad, but I'm going to empty the whole bottle into that sauce now. Sharon said, our leaves have blown away with several windstorms. Well, that windstorm needs to come here and blow these leaves all away. And to get out the rest of it, I'm going to add a little water to it. Ooh, Shauna said she's going to have stew for dinner. Oh, that sounds so good. We're going to make stew this weekend as well. But, we'll probably have it the rest of the week as our dinner. sounds good. We actually have three. I bought two of the roasts today and had them cut it into uh, stew meat. Mm. And then we have one more of our own. Yes. I'm gonna, we're going to cut ourselves. Is it, oh, Italian. Well, it's not Italian. No, that's the one we just reuse and make our own. So I'm just going to pour some in here. I'm going to start with a cup, but then I want to also get the keto chow added in in a few minutes. Carrie said, I have them written down. He do not lose track. It was funny. The next door neighbor was wanting me to help with his leaves. If I could get up there hungry, heat, I would do your yard. Oh, oh, you're so generous, Carrie. Thank you for that. I'm going to keep that in mind because ours went AOL on us. Rocky Mountain said, the wind blows the leaves from the neighbors into my yard. Ugh. Right? It, it doesn't that figure. Doesn't that figure. Right, family said, we're making your lasagna for Christmas. Oh, Ooh, that, nice. That sounds delicious. I can't wait to see the pictures. We need to make that again ourselves because we've only made it twice. And I loved it. But I do love it. Yeah, I definitely want to make that again. In fact, I was talking to Heath about it, but then... I, we found this good deal. I know. We keep finding all these beef prices. Reichwood said, I got the recipe and the announcement. Looking forward to it. Yay! Blue Dove's here. Hey, Blue Dove. Oh, okay. Add salt. Um, and do you want to add a little five spice to it as well? Well, because we're going to also add that to the uh, beef, the beef, oh, okay. the meatballs. We'll definitely need some salt. Uh, Blue Dove said, Howdy, horn mates, horn mistress, and horn master. I've got a post surgery pup resting in my lap. Oh, poor Miss Floof has had a rough few days. Oh, no. What happened, Jamie? Oh, poor little baby. All right. Yeah, there's right family. So definitely send me a message, right family, so I can make sure I email you. Sharon said, I wasn't able to see the recipe via email, but was able to in the members section here on YouTube. Oh, good. It's a lot better. Yeah, it definitely needed salt. Um, so I'll so put a lid it? on it and let it just sit on low Yeah. until we're ready. And I'm going to start clearing all of this stuff out of the way so I can make my meatballs. Y'all get to watch me play with my balls. Oh, gosh. Uh, Tear Bear is here. Oh, I like that. Tear Bear. And then I'll need the keto chow. What are you going to do with this? You said save it for you. Uh, remember for my mayo. Oh, okay. Uh, said leaves make great compost for around plants or trees or your garden. Oh, that's kind of good to know. So here we've got the keto chow. Creamy tomato basil. And he thought this would make really good um, breadsticks because, again, playing with that whole Italian theme. Ooh. All right. Now I'm just going to do a whole scoop of keto chow. Oh. And since we're doing Italian tonight, look what we got her for her drink tonight. <laughs> Do you want it right now? Nah, keep it cold for me, please. All right. And? Oh, yeah. Another thing I scored today, too, is H-E-B the last couple of weeks has had their Lily's chocolate bars. You oh. buy two, you get one free. Yeah. So it's I their... got like uh, nine of them, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, so they're basically um, 
three ninety nine, I think. Three ninety eight each. So you end up getting three for eight dollars. Maybe add a little too much. Let's see. Hey, what was it? Oh yeah, the meat. Duh. Oh wait, I got a clear spot for him. Is that yeah. enough of the keto chow? Yeah. But I might need. Well, let me see. Just mixing up the eggs. With oh, when I need the baking powder, do you see? Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. The eggs and uh, the pork panko. You need both. You need more, or just the baking. You need more eggs and panko. Uh, not more panko, okay. and then there should be a little teaspoon there. And do you want any other seasoning in this, or are you just going with? That'll the be fine. Cow? That'll be fine because what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put my beef rub. And a little bit of the Texas Five Spice. In, and this says the McCormick Italian, but I do my own blend and just put it back in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I upcycle. So right? I'm going to mix all this into the meat. And that's going on this bowl. I'm and fixing to pull that out right in aisle. All right. Let's see here. Um, Jamie asked about the cook along. How essential is the food processor? Could I do with a hand mixer or a Vitamix? Um, oh, I was gonna tell you, let me something else. Oh, what? the Parmesan. Can you reach that? I would say, I mean, the food processor is gonna work better because the main thing with the recipe, this is what I have found this week, is you want to really mix the dry ingredients really well. And before you add any of the wet. And so that's why I was suggesting a food processor. So I would say if you don't have a food processor, then the Vitamix should work about, should do about the same because um, you're going to put the, um, the dry ingredients in the, in the Vitamix. And then after you do that, then you'll add the wet stuff. Now, see, this is what we're talking about though. Our hamburger meat was special. I love these stickers. I get happy every time I see them. Yes. Because they actually have like three different areas at the in the meat area. Three three different sections of the meat area. I go looking around at all of those. Yeah. And I send pictures to her. I said, do you want these? Do you want this? Do you want this? Because unlike, like Kroger has a special area that is specifically at the end only of the for discount meat. But how H-E-B does it, is it just wherever that, like where all the ground beef is, you just have to go through there to look for the stickers. And then we usually like buying these. these like they're, they're, I don't know exactly how much this one is. Let's see. So it's uh, $2.97 a pound and it's, then 25% off and it was five and a half pounds. Yeah. But they always have this one tray with three sections on it. We buy these a lot. But every single one, they had 11 of these in the in the uh, little holder. I was like, well, all right, I'm buying them all. She's like, no, you're not. Slow down, Turbo. Let's see how I do this. I'm making a mess. Jamie said, the 30th, that's right, is your birthday. Should be fun to talk with your coach. Oh, that's right. Do you have any plans for your birthday, Jamie? Sounds like she does now. Right, family said, garlicky gringo is really good. I do like the garlicky gringo. Um, even though I say it's entry level, it just adds real good flavor. In fact, I just saw earlier today, if y'all go look on his, uh, uh, his website, Hotline Pepper Products, he has a Texas special he's running right now. And it comes with two different uh, uh, um, garlicky gringos. It has the jar of salsa and the regular bottle of salsa of their uh, garlic and go too. Ooh. And then one other one, and then it comes with a koozie and something else. There's like five or six different little items that come yes. with it. It's a little Texas. He called it his Texas combo pack. Yeah, so that's a really go good take, deal. Go, go look at that. Yeah. Matreya is here. And if hey. you do order from them from Hotline and you don't use our code because I know it's not stackable, just um, you know put in, in like a comment, hey, heard from hungry heat and then that way he knows that because he asked he today he was like do you tell people about my product and we're like, like yeah daily and he so you know if he knows that hey even if you don't use our discount code you know that oh, okay you heard about it from us 
You okay? Yeah, this is really cold. <laughs> I should have um, put uh, half of it in here and then put the other half. It's going to be hard to mix this up. Well, you, give me a hand though. What? And add some seasoning. All right. And then Matreya is here. Uh, hey, hey. Matreya, how you doing? She's probably feeling radical. Right? Here, I'm just going to. This is the beef rub, right? Yeah. I'm going to do a couple. Oh. Well, because you've got. Well, no, it's just all the chunks in it. Yeah. No, I'm going to well, break it up. I just I thought I broke it up when I made it, though. I guess not. Well, it's the. There's a little bit of brown sugar not yeah brown no sugar in it and that still clumps okay and then the texas five spice how spicy you want these a little bit we already got the evil ooze and y'all the reason why i'm using the evil ooze is there's a local uh, italian place here we used to go to all the time like all the time but we don't need pasta anymore so really what's the point right but they would do um once a month they would do special uh, 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 diners, the dinners, they would actually close for the evening and let their um, chefs create a menu. Yeah, it was really and good. That's where we learned to use the evil ooze in with Italian food because they were doing that. They made like some room oh, yeah. and stuff. And that's, oh. I, I, I've fallen in love with it ever since. Yes, it was so good. Jerry said, by Graftar's Hamburger, what a savings. Right? Uh, Carrie said Frosty got thrown out of produce for picking his nose. Oh uh -huh. my gosh. Uh, Rocky Mountain said, What is a reverse sear? You cook it on low till it gets a desired and temperature you want. Cook it where? Anywhere you want to, honestly. Usually in an oven. I like to do it on the smoker, honestly. And then you finish it off on high heat, You're searing it off. Yeah. So you. It, Generally, yeah, you could smoke it or you do it in the oven and you cook it until it reaches the internal temp. Again, like we like 131. Uh, but that's for answer. a perfect medium rare. So, of course, if you like yours more done, then you're going to cook it a little longer. Um, and then once it's done, once it's reached that uh, internal temp, then you have a hot skillet and you're going to sear it off so you get that nice crusty sear on the outside because i mean let's be honest that's the best part of the steak is having that crunchy exterior oh hey i'm just gonna start foaming golf i mean golf ball meatballs and putting them in the air fryer well they're about golf ball size yeah. right i'm just i'm not measuring anything i'm just that one's gonna be really big that's fine i'm gonna let them go my normal 400 for about 10 minutes and then i'm gonna do a temp check on them and see if they need yes. to go a little longer but that's a great question, Rocky Mountain. I know we sometimes say things and we forget, you know. A little caveat to that. The reverse sear is really the best way to cook thick cuts of meat. Yes. Or steaks. If you're doing real thin cuts, just go ahead and just grill them up or, or fry, you know, pan fry them or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You want thin cuts, you want to do hot and fast. For thick cuts, you want low and slow. Yes. Uh, Shauna said, mail call, mail call. Yes. Well, we, my hands aren't dirty. We definitely have a lot of mail, y'all. And I'm just, again, thank you all so much. Like, y'all are so thoughtful. And so we are definitely, we've got it here, but we just want to get this out of the way so nothing gets dirty. But yes, stay tuned for the mail call. I'm so excited. I'm loving everything we've been getting each day, all the beautiful cards. It's just making our home feel Christmassy and you see our little Christmas tree back here right and I don't know if it got mentioned earlier because I had to leave for a minute to go run an errand but um this is gonna make a big batch and I'm actually doing this as a meal prep I'm gonna this is yeah. gonna be my lunch for the rest of the week too yeah I told them okay. well, most uh, of the week anyways so. oh Marie said I would cook with you on New Year's Eve wouldn't that be fun yes Jerry said, I'm doing the reverse sear on my ribeyes. Cooked at 225 until internal temp hit 120. Yes. Picked up the trigger to 450 and we'll sear on both sides for three to five minutes. Oh, How are you perfect. doing that on your trigger though, brother? Because I was looking at that after I got it and I kind of kind of honestly disappointed because the pit I had before this, I could actually expose the flame and grill. And everything I was seeing on the triggers, you have to do some heavy modifications to it and practically take it apart. To expose the the fire so i want to know how you're doing it you need to send me a message later because what i've been doing when i, when I smoke them 
I'm finishing them off on my Blackstone, sharing them off that way. Jerry said, Moink balls are on the menu for tomorrow. Nice. Nice. I thought about doing that. And I was like, well, this will be better and I'll have to mess with the bacon. <laughs> Shauna said she didn't even know you didn't have your mic on because she was still hearing you really well. <laughs> he was I, well I'm a thespian. <laughs> I was taught to enunciate and project to the back of the house. <laughs> I, that's what's crazy is I was never an actor. I never performed on stage, but being in the class and having a drama teacher, even though I was in tech theater, I only worked, worked behind the scenes doing sets and, uh, you know, set designs and um, that sort of thing. I learned and learned and learned. He was always honest about speaking from the diaphragm. I was actually in, I was a thespian. I, I was in a couple plays, but, mm -hmm. um, that was mostly in middle school. And then in high school, I still was in drama um, for, I, I know one year, I don't know if I did it the second year, but I noticed, wow, the competition went up a hundred times better. Uh -huh. And I was just like, oh, I'm not really into, in, I'm not that invested in it. Right. I was just like, you know, I'm not going to go running after class. Did I get the part? Did I get the part? I was like, I either get it or I don't. In fact, my favorite show we ever did was a Midsummer Night's Dream, and we actually built flash pots, y'all. Yes. We used live gunpowder in the school for our show. That's pretty cool. That's amazing. Only in Texas. But I really enjoyed uh, theater class. Yes. Um, my middle school teacher, she was drama teacher. She was amazing. Uh, the high school one was still good, but it was, you could tell, like, that teacher had oh, certain people that, you know, they were like, oh, these are our actors. But right. our school actually had a couple people that went on to becoming well-known actors. Oh, um, really? The, she was in Wings. Oh. Uh, who was the lady in Wings? Remember that TV show Wings? I think it was like Christy Shelley or I don't know, something like that. No wonder you liked her. Right. Um, oh, that one's really big. Which one? the one in your hand. Um, but yeah, so I mean, there were some people who ended up doing pretty well. Um, but again, I was just like, well, I enjoyed it. Um, but then I moved in. I also loved science. So I, I started doing more of the, yeah, I add a little more to this one. So it's a little more even. I started doing more of the health care side of things. What I really love too, is our high school was a closed campus. We weren't allowed to leave. But a handful of us, a certain select few that are his all-stars in his class, actually had uh, special hall passes laminated and given to us. We carried around like business cards so we could leave campus anytime we wanted to. And we just told the security guards we're going to pick up some pieces for the set. Oh, I bet. For the show. Because all y'all love this teacher. He was so awesome. His name was Mr. Donahue, and we just called him Mr. D. But he ran everything that had to do with that theater. If the... Um, choir or the band wanted to use his theater it was our his uh, crew that came in and worked everything all the lights and sound for for that anybody want to do a presentation or give, give a speech oh, or anything yeah. like that it was his guys that came in it was his class that came in and did everything wow um just a couple if you don't mind this one and this one are too big okay. and then add it to this one yeah yeah, that's right. And then this one's a little too small. Um, two crazy ketos. Hey, hey, hey. Joe and Rachel. How are y'all doing? Uh, Rachel, I did this recipe just for you. Look, we're making balls. Balls, balls, balls. Lots of balls. Pounds and pounds of balls. <laughs> Jen said, try my hand at keto fine and non-nut flour and cranberry bliss bars. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh, that'd be good. Those were good from Starbucks, so I can't wait to see that. Marie said, it might not be still in Utah. Depends on how on top of scanning the label the USPS employees are. That is true. Then because, they need some prayers right now. <laughs> I feel sorry for them guys. They're going through it. Oh, I know. I've been hearing stories from Jen, too, like on her blogmas of all the stuff that Brian's having to go through because, you know, he, he yeah. works the same thing. In fact, y'all, today I we got another shipment from Amazon that actually got delivered by FedEx. Right. 
Everybody's uh, we're all helping each other. <laughs> right. And don't forget to say the thank you. Yes. Um, to, you know, say Alexa, uh, thank my driver. I don't know if they've reached it, um, but I do know if y'all know who Joyce and Barry are. She said that Barry actually did get one of the five dollar um, thank yous. Yeah, that that one right this there one? looks a little too big. It's well, I'll up. just eat that one then. That, I know it's just so it evenly cooks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want it to be raw. Okay, okay. that looks good. The only so what problem do we get? That... Four, eight, yeah, for right now. 12, 16, 19. So what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and put a piece of foil over this and uh -huh. put it in the fridge, and I'll make the rest of these tomorrow. Well, well, I don't want to glove up again and again, you know, two or three times, but yeah, because I still got to make them bread too. Yeah, I've got that right here. All right. Well, I need to get this in. Oh, cooking. you need to get the oven. Yeah, we need to turn well, it on. Well, the, the uh, meatballs are going to be done before the bread is. That's fine. Oh, okay. We should have put them in first. My bad. Um, well, if you want, it's okay for these to sit for a few minutes, and then you want to get the special container for the breadsticks? Yeah. Oh, okay. Help me. They're, they're sticking. There. Thank you. Um, and then let's see. But yeah, that's true with the U.S. Postal Service, and really any of them is depending on if the driver actually scans the tracking. And sometimes, especially if they're busy, they're probably not going to be scanning all of them. Um, Rocky Mountain said, a new family, laugh out loud. Sometimes I wish. Ditto. Jackie said, done Christmas shopping and haven't even started. Uh, 350? What are, huh? What, what are we 350? Happy Grinchmas. Just family food and time this year. I, hey, you know what? That's the best. Jerry said, it's been a bad couple of months for us. Patty started her new job in July. And at the beginning of November, they decided to oh, let her what? go. She's oh, no. been busy looking. Oh, Jerry, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I brother. did not know that. Oh, man. Here's the special uh, pan she's talking about. Back in the day, pre-keto, Shelly used to be an amazing baker. She still is, but even before that. So she bought these pans so we can make our own um, hot dog buns. And we we're going to try using this to make the breadsticks. Last time, we just poured it out on the tray of parchment paper or whatever. Yeah. Can I get a spoon, though? Yeah. But you know what? I think, and one more egg. I feel like one more egg. See how thick this is, y'all? I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. This work? Um, yeah. And then one egg. I just feel like it's a little too thick. Carrie oh. said, everyone, did you hear that Apple made a car near her teeth so it doesn't have those? It's actually pretty funny, brother. Wow. That is hilarious. Or what was it? Whenever... Uh, Steve Jobs passed. They were like, uh, trying to think how the joke went. Something about, do you know when he died, um, his life would flash behind, before his eyes because, you know, Adobe Flash never works with Apple. Uh -huh. Can I have the napkin, please? Something like that. I'm sure I butchered that, but that's hilarious. Um, Jen said... 988 is the suicide prevention hotline if anyone ever needs it. Help is available 24 hours a day. Thank you for sharing that, Jim. Yes, that thank is you. really good to know. Hopefully, none of us will need that. But, you know, I don't know if anybody used to watch Ellen. Unfortunately, um, you know, if, if you saw the news about Twitch, I mean, it just, it's sad and it affects people at any age. Yes. So thank you for sharing that, Jen. That's really needed. I'm going to leave that up there a minute. So if you haven't written it down, you know, please do so. Unfortunately, I've actually known four people in my life that have done that. It's sad. It, it's it's hard. And I get it. Life is freaking hard, y'all. It when people I just I wish there was something we could do. To life is so easy. Like I want to meet the person that thinks life is easy. I mean that 
there are difficult times in life. And then plus, if you have a um, imbalance, you know, in it's a chemical imbalance. And if you have that and you don't have a way of getting it treated, you know, sometimes that's what ends up happening. And it's very unfortunate and it's very sad. Um, when, uh, Jerry made a joke earlier. He reminded me of this. Uh -oh. When he's talking about uh, the snowman picking his nose or whatever. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to give it especially to Carrie. You can pick your friends. You can pick your nose. You just can't pick your friend's nose. Okay. This looks like a better mix here. Okay. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. And Carrie said, you have to watch out for pupils when eyeballing ingredients. That's right? true. Jackie said, my channel hit past 300. Nice. That's awesome, Jackie. Chilling at 325. And I'll be filling in for RSK's live next week. Oh, okay. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you, Jackie. Yes. That's great. Shauna said, I might just add Happy New Year on the inside of my cards. Okay. But yeah, that's fine. I mean, I tried to do that on most of mine. Okay, let's see what we could do here on, on these. We're going to see what, what ends up, right? Because I can't remember, honestly, the last time we used that pan. <laughs> right? Because yeah. I thought we were just going to roll them out like last time and just put it on the pa parchment paper. But that's fine. All right. You're wanting actual bread sticks. <laughs> well, you said bread sticks. Yeah. Well, the last time we made them, it was it just turned out pretty good. But this, well, this looks cool. Well, let's see. We're gonna see what this turns out, right? Watch, it's gonna be one long loaf, and we just have to cut it. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That'd be awesome, though. Uh, I mean, it happened that one time we made these. Well, last time when I used to make the hot dog buns, that's kind of what happened. That's why you have kind of that cut side of the hot dog. Because of, uh, you know, they kind of bloom up and then have that little space between them. But we'll see how these turn out. Right, y'all? You want to pipe it? No. Oh, that might be too much on that one. Let's see if I can. Okay. So, what are y'all looking forward to? Does, is anybody going out of town next week? Um, are you going to do anything? Is there anything that, you know, you're, what you're looking forward to most about the holiday? So, I know a lot of you have kids. So, is there like, uh, I was listening to uh, somebody today. I think it was a podcast or a book it must have been just on some youtube channel and they were talking about you know when they um who was it they were saying when they were a kid that they always wanted I'm trying to think who who it was that i heard the story from but they said that they had always wanted this um like a four-wheeler uh-huh did you hear this no one? maybe it was on, it's one all of new the to me. youtubes but anyways they always wanted it. And one year their their dad had, so his brother had gotten one, his older brother, and he was like all super jealous and begged his dad for the whole year. I want one of those. I want one of those. Give me one of those. I, that's what I want for Christmas, blah, blah, blah. You know, like I'll do anything. I'll be perfect all year long, right? And then his dad made an announcement like in November and said, y'all hold up. Wait, this year, Christmas is going to be so great. I've got gifts and it's going to, um, y'all are going to be so happy. Everybody in the family is getting one and they're going to be a different color. There's red, blue, and Yeah, because they said, you know, it was kind of like that Ralphie. And I said, when Christmas came, then uh, that morning when they did it, what he got everybody was a waterbed. Oh. And so, you know, he was like, oh, yeah, you know, that's pretty awesome. Thanks. 
And then, um, at, at, at like a couple hours later, right? Kind of like the Ralphie Mae thing, you know, like, oh man, I, I, you know, like you're trying to be happy, but what you really wanted, you didn't get. And it finally after like a couple hours or later in the day, his dad was like, so did you get everything you wanted? Oh yeah, it's great. Thanks. He's like, oh, you did? Well, you know, I wanted to, he said, well, why don't you go out and look in the driveway? And he went out there and there was his four wheeler. Oh, nice. And so he's really excited. So I don't know. I might be repeating something y'all have heard, but that's what I heard. But anyways, this is what they're, they're all. Oh, and there goes the cat. Why did uh, that car coming back? That? Let me make sure that it's staying on the right one. Yeah, it is. I wonder if your phone's on the right one. But it shouldn't matter because it's connected. But here's, you see, I did not do these perfectly, each one. Yeah. The rustic. Right. But there's six of them. So when you're, oh, it's not even up to temp yet, y'all. Okay. And then how long are we baking for? I don't remember. Let's do 10 minutes. Okay. And then we'll check off. Oh, that'll be perfect. I'll perfect. slap them in, turn the uh, thing to the uh, timer yeah. on, and then when it goes off, they're done. Yeah. Uh, right family said, I went to get cards to send out and they were $8 for 18. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, no, I wouldn't do that. I'd be printing them out of paper. <laughs> uh, Jerry said, Patty and I got Amazon gift cards to buy books so we could eat keto chocolate and read books. Oh, oh nice. How romantic. Aha, uh -huh. making keto chow hot chocolate as our Christmas morning meal and double smoking a ham Ooh. for lunch and dinner. Ooh, that sounds really good. I was seeing some um, Pedersons has their ham. It's $60, but there was one called Crowd Cow that had it cheaper. But the thing is, with Crowd Cow, then you have to buy other stuff, too. Then is it really cheaper? <laughs> Not really. But that sounds really nice. I got an offer from Amazon saying, hey, you join Audible. You get it now for $5.95 a month for the next four months. And I was like, ooh, should I do that and then cancel after four months? Because I just think $15 a month seems high. But I don't know. Uh, Sharon said, I'm so behind on getting Christmas cards sent out this year. Oh, there. Now it's all All righty. Um, and just, just a heads up, not to like scare y'all, but the postal service says tomorrow, Saturday is the last day for guaranteed, well, you know, as much as they can delivery by Christmas for first class postage. And then I think Monday is the last day for priority mail. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, Reichwin said, I wanted something peppermint for the holiday season, so took my vanilla keto chow and added peppermint extract into it. Turned out really well. Nice. That sounds really good. All right. Mm. The breadsticks are in. The meatballs are in. When the meatballs go off, we'll have balls. Mm. Uh, Jamie said, AOL, you mean MIA. <laughs> or AWOL, right? Yeah. Susan said, have a good night. Time to go read. Good night, oh, Susan. Good night. Thanks for stopping by. Right, family said, hungry heat after dark. Uh-oh. Mm, no. <laughs> we turned that off. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, Blue Dove said, Fluff was off her food and running a fever. Oh, oh no. I'm sorry. Took her to the vet. They figured out she had a uterine infection. Oh. oh poor baby. So she got spayed yesterday, but she hates the cone so much she chewed the first off. Oh, wow. Oh, poor That's baby. That's stubborn. That's got to be hard yeah. on her. Poor little poor girl. Thing. Give the baby lots of hugs and kisses. Right, family said, we got a bunch of Chalk Zero on sale. Nice. That's awesome. Way to go. There's. I feel like, and y'all let me know. I feel like as far as like keto products and all go, that this year has really been a lot of sales. Right. I think it's because we're making up from uh, everybody being in lockdown. Maybe so, but it, it does seem like a lot of sales, like yeah. a lot of good sales. Like it felt like before a lot of sales were like, oh, here's 10 or 15% off. Like, 
Okay, thanks for covering shipping. All right. Carrie said, since I haven't done coffee or caffeine, I stopped eating chocolate. Well, that, I mean, chocolate's got caffeine. Uh-huh. Jackie said, I miss my mint chocolate bars, which is why I was so disappointed in the perfect keto mint bar. They were awful. Oh, well, I never even tried them. Uh-uh. Uh, but that's good to know. Speaking of mint chocolate, though, the new keto brick is amazing. We've already crushed one. Yeah, so we did get the keto brick. So we'll try mm. to melt one down yeah. later today. Uh, but we did get the new already chocolate ate it. mint keto brick. It's, and it's awesome. It's pretty good. What I liked about it is the mint's not overpowering. And I feel like that's the challenge with any product that says they're mint chocolate is sometimes the mint is so strong that it's like, oh, that's just too much, right? But I felt like the keto brick, that mint chocolate, it was a nice balance. Like you got the chocolate and then you got a little bit of the mint. So it was not overpowering anything. And what I liked about it too, is before I figured out I was allergic, their um, peanut butter bricks were my favorite the texture and the consistency and everything were my really reminded me of fudge this uh, I, they got the same texture on this new brick yes so really excited me about it uh jamie said when at her incision while we were getting the second cone ready and in a split second she was bleeding everywhere oh, oh no 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 baby Sweet tq cat said how are your new herb plants oh do you mind bringing in my herbs night. where are we gonna put them though uh, well, I don't care. Put them on the table behind All us. Right. All right. Uh, so how are they doing? I obviously forgot. Abandoned. Um, That's how they're doing. Have you killed them yet? Well, we're about to find out if I've killed them. Where'd you put them? I say that only because I don't have a green thumb either. Well, laugh out loud. I'm sure yours are thriving. I don't know. Um, they're, they're, uh, here's the thing. It's cold now. And so yesterday and today, when the sun was out, I was like, I was moving them today. I totally forgot. But like yesterday and then today, I would take them because the sun hits right over here in the morning. So I was uh, putting them out on the railing this morning so they get sun because it says they should get four to six hours of sun. And then, but what happens is in the afternoon, this is all shaded, but instead the front part of the house gets direct sunlight. And you know why I forgot is because the nut of the sun hit me this afternoon because it was overcast and rainy today. So I forgot about my plants. But yesterday I did move them then to the front part of the house so they'd get lots of sun there. So, uh, I mean, they are still alive, so that's good. But you just had me touch them, so I don't know. But, yeah, there's my rosemary. There's my thyme. Well, let me go set these down. But they're not supposed to get too cold, and now they, they've been out there in the Bottom chill. Off. So thanks for reminding me, 22Q Cat. Right, we only said, I'm hoping to see the stickers in the morning. I'm going to try Walmart meat. It can't be worse than what I we got last you week. You see it? Yeah, see, that one seems a little like it's a little sad, right? We'll see. You get stuck in a plant of box. Well, or... hopefully you'll do fine tomorrow, right, family? I hope so. Matreya said, yes, I had to go to four stores today oh. to find a horseradish root. Oh, wow. Ridiculous. But creamy horseradish is easy to make. And commercial stuff has terrible ingredients. Right? Oh, wow. There's only, I think, two of them we've been able to find that are clean. Yeah, it's boar's head. Uh-huh. And I forget the other one. The other one's Reese's. in the fridge right now, and I'll get it in a second. Reese's? Um, but oh, good. I'd love to see how you make the creamy horseradish. So, you're gonna do it on a coffee talk so we can watch, yeah. or are you gonna do it in a standalone video? Lloyd said, I feel myself around this time at night, I feel a little foggy, like brain fog, not really doing electrolytes. What's something that's good that I can use? Relight, I've been eating beef and eggs, bacon alone. Well, I mean, here's my thinking. Everybody in the keto sphere is going to say, you have to have electrolytes. 
everybody, well, I can't say everybody, but the main long-term carnivores are going to tell you you don't need electrolytes, okay? So, you kind of, if you're getting a little foggy, I would try, either try salting the food or make sure you're getting enough fat because... Even the long-term carnivores are saying you still need to be getting 80% fat. So if you're getting a little brain fog, try up in the fat. So add some butter um, or beef tallow. Um, add some fat to your food and make sure you're getting enough fat. Because I'm going to be honest, y'all. When I did carnivore, I know that was my mistake. Is I know I was not getting enough fat. I was doing... Because I obviously didn't research carnivore enough, right? Because I was like, oh, you just need to eat meat. That's so easy. But I'm telling y'all, I had the worst time because I know I was probably only doing 70% fat. So, and again, it's going to depend on where you're at. But if all you do is just like i was just eating ribeyes and stuff and that was just the the fat i was eating i really was i would add maybe a tablespoon of butter that was not enough fat you really especially at the beginning if you're going to do carnivore you need to up yeah those are nowhere near done can't even see them though hold on yeah i'm gonna show them off but um turn it the other way yeah all the way. There you go. Just do that. Yeah, those are still wet. Okay, so about another 10 minutes then? Because I think we got to do... Okay, hold on. Um, because you really need to up that fat. And I can tell you now that I'm doing 90% fat, like my mental clarity is so much sharper. And I don't have that fogginess or kind of tiredness anymore. It really does make a difference. We need to open that gifts yeah, next. I know. But I'm serious. We need to right okay, now. Let's do it. But that would be my suggestion, especially if you're not going to be doing electrolytes. Make sure you're getting enough fat. And again, this is my working theory, y'all. I feel like if you've done keto for several years, you're near or close to maintenance weight. You could probably do one to one. Or just eat your ribeye with the fat that's on it. Or your meat with the fat and you don't have to add much fat to it. I think that's true for people who are close to maintenance. I think for people who have a lot to lose, like myself, um, or if you have metabolic issues, other autoimmune issues, I really believe you need that high-fat keto or high-fat carnivore to really do well. And I think it's kind of a, a you know, if, if people are going in thinking, oh, well, I'm just going to eat a ribeye. That's enough fat. If you still have a lot of weight to lose or if you have any autoimmune conditions, you need to be making sure you're getting at least 80 percent fat. That's my suggestion, my working theory. Um. All Let's right. see here. We need to open that one, though. Yeah. Okay. We're going to open up. We got mail, you guys. Oh, where's all the cards? Over here. Okay. That We need that one first. Oh, okay. That's why I handed it to you first. So this, so thank you. We got, this is from Shauna. Look at her beautiful card, y'all. Um, There we go. It made the spirit of Christmas be with you throughout the year. Aw. But look how beautiful that card is. So there's that card. And so this one says Hungry Heath. And then this she sent as well. And look at that. I think this is what you sent to go on like a mug or something. Right, Shauna? It says, does this copy make me look alive? Isn't that adorable? Okay. Aw, it even says my name on it. it. Says from your favorite executive admin moderator, maker of labels. <laughs> Aw, that's Thank so you. sweet. What is it? It's a thermostat. A but thermostat? Or a, a food probe. Uh, like A meat? Yeah. Meter. 
Yes. Oh. So I thought I could just grab it and plug it in, but it's going to be a little more involved. Okay. I'm going to have to play with this. But thank you, Sean. This is amazing. I will play with this. Right now, I want to pull this out and double check the meat first. Okay. See what's got going on on it. And then look, I got a couple little presents. Yes. Oh, wow. Some beautiful earrings. Look. This will be so fun on the cruise. Look how pretty that looks. Thank you, Shauna. Let's see, what's in this one? Oops. Oh, so exciting. <gasps> wow. Oh my, oh wow. Look at this. That's so gorgeous. Because now you can wear that formal night. Yes, this is perfect for the crew. I here, I'm gonna put it with the white background so you can see how beautiful this necklace is, y'all. Look how how beautiful that is. That beautiful blue aqua color. That is so here. Wait. I'm can we get this get out of the way? I'm sorry. Wow, Shauna, I love that. That's go so lay down, baby. Gorgeous. You need to go outside. No. And right. I love aqua. Hurry and up. Then look, it's got matching earrings. Look how pretty these are. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me show the matching earrings. These are just so pretty. Awesome. I what love are you it. gonna do? You're gonna take pictures of all of that and post it on your Facebook. Yes. Oh, thank you so much, Shauna. That's so awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. Now I've got some beautiful jewelry for the cruise. Ooh. Oh, what am I doing? Checking them for me while I'm doctoring everything else up. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. Yeah, put it a lot closer to me. There we go. Then see, I this is why I didn't want to do cheese and stuff in it because I didn't want it oozing out everywhere. Yeah, that's true. So I figured we're going to top it with cheese. Because she was asking me if I wanted to uh, mix in Parmesan with it and everything. And I told her no, because I just wanted to be just the meat. I think it needs to go a little longer, doesn't it? Yeah, it's saying 115. Okay. Oh, Good girl, hey, come on. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, they're only about 115. Okay, so I'll think about another 10 minutes then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, at least. Okay. And then we got some more cards here. Look at this. Who, who sent us this card? This is from Brian and Jen. Jen, did you make this card? It's so cute. Oh, wow. I didn't notice that either. Because huh? the light reflected off of it. I didn't notice there's like a little sheen to it. A little yes, glossy. This, it had a scratch off Oh, right that's there. right. I remember now. And it says, happy holidays. Ho, ho, ho. Look, She's calling you a hoe. Has a little uh, jewel on it. Thank you. That's so cute. And then this is from Lisa and Max. Look at that beautiful card. And that, I love the shine on it. So pretty, y'all. And then we got another card and another gift. And... It says, Merry Christmas with love. Oh, that's so sweet. Look at how pretty. And look, it's my colors again, the aquas and the greens. And it's got a nice little reflection. I love it. Thank you. And what was also in the package, look at these. They're towels, y'all. More kitchen towels. And I actually don't have a lot of uh, Christmas or holiday Festive. towels. Yeah. And then look. Maybe you can bring it closer to show them what it says. Maybe one at a time. And that is so cute. I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> that, that one's definitely me. <sighs> Define naughty. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much. Y'all are awesome. Thank you for... The wonderful presents. Thank you for the wonderful cards. Yes. Thank I'm going to stack for... this up and get it out of the way. I just want okay. to damage anything. Thank you so much for thinking of us. I mean, just the fact that you even thought to send us a card 
I just really appreciate it. Now these cards, we actually set them up for display in the living room. Yes. So I'm going to go put them back for right now. Thank you. But thank you so much. Thank you. Jerry said, my trigger isn't getting up to 450. I top off at 412. So I'll, I'll have to just add an extra couple of minutes on the reverse sear. Dang, yeah. I'm hungry. Oh, that's I nice. know. I hate That's the waste part. The hardest part is the waiting. Mm -hmm. Delilah, go said, get back down. Delilah, go. Come on, baby. We still got hot food. I don't want you to get hurt. Um, Carrie said, when you use beef rub, then you have to give the cow a massage. Oh, well, definitely. We always do, sir. Oh, yeah. Jamie said... Now she has a sticky wrapped doggy girdle to protect it. She's definitely losing some fur when this thing comes off. So I'm keeping her mellow while she heals. Aww. And th that's the hard part with, you know, our, our pets is you just don't know what they're thinking. Like, she's just thinking, I don't like this thing on me. She doesn't understand, you know, that you, it's for her good. Poor little baby. Jerry said horseradish, that's vegetables for ponies. Uh-huh. <sighs> Jerry, Jerry. Right family said everybody better check their YouTube account. We got unsubscribed from a bunch of channels. Yeah, I don't understand why it does that. It randomly will do that. Yeah, why do they do that? That's awful. Um Jamie said, too cold outside, Jerry. Oh, maybe that's why it wouldn't get up. Treat Yo Elf. Guess who that is? She finally decided to join us. Well, we are about uh, ooh, 40 minutes behind. I uh, said, happy Friday, y'all. Sorry you had to work late, nine to ten hour days, and had an errand after work. It's okay, Renee. As long as you're here, you're safe. That's good. Uh, we just get worried about you. Um Wow, what a week. And you said earlier you had a mean patient. I'd love to hear about that. Why? That Why? sounds awful. Well, I want to know what they're doing that makes them so mean. Um, Matreya said, I have planned on it. It's just mayo, peeled and microplane horseradish, a bit of lime juice and mustard powder, sometimes salt if you feel like adding it. That sounds super easy. Now I want to make my own horseradish. I bet it would be... Even down, better baby. than what I can find. Uh, better tasting, anyways. Um, oh, I think it jumped a little on me. Yeah, because this is the one we use now. Yeah, the boar's head, grated in vinegar, which That's... I love vinegar stuff, y'all. But that isn't creamy. It's just horseradish, right? Yeah. That's remember. probably the difference. Well, I'm looking to see, like, here's all the... I don't know. That's probably too small, too hard for y'all to read. Uh, turn it one more. No, 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 no. There, right. Oh, right there. Grated horseradish, oh, vinegar, and salt. So see, that's clean. But that isn't creamy. That's uh, just horseradish. Well, yeah, but you add that to your other stuff, right? Yeah, you could. Uh, Carrie said, last time I was in HB, I got two packs of bacon for six pounds and have been cooking bacon and saving the bacon fat, even putting bacon fat on my tuna. That sounds delicious, Carrie. Come on, Delilah. What are you doing? She's licking his plate. Delilah. Go lay down, baby. I know. You just want to be with us, huh? I'm going to end up tripping over her Okay, something. come on, go. I don't want Daddy to spill on you. And you know he's not very good at being uh, unclumsy. Oh. Okay, maybe they want a treat. Well, they need to go over there and learn how to listen then. Oh, see, that got her attention. You should have seen her look. As soon as she heard that, she's like, what? <laughs> um, Carrie said, last time I was in HB. Oh, I read that one. I'm sorry. Treat your elf said kitten went to new home this morning. Oh, Aww. that's right. Finally quiet in this house. Oh, poor little. She was such a cute little kitty. How'd that happen though? She just stumbled upon your, uh, yeah, she your, land, your uh, yard in your yard. Cause she knew that was a safe place. Animals know animals know where it's a safe area. I'm so glad you were able to help the new kitty. Uh, oh, Shauna said she's also a member of the National Thespian Society. Awesome. 
Wow, that's awesome, Shauna. There's power in the circle. In the circle, there's power. We should like get together and do our own theatrics on the cruise, right? Uh, Jerry said, just flip my stakes. I'll be AFK a few minutes while I pull and rest and then din din time. Right? Well, um, by now you're probably eating those din din steaks. Ready, set, keto is here. Hey, hey. Emily, welcome. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Jamie said, do you need to expose the flame? The grates get plenty hot at 400. They do have searing trays you can use if you need more contact. I like actually like the exposing the flame, honestly. That's what I used to go on my other one. What was the other company I used to have? Pit Boss. Yeah, that one you could actually uh, move the, the grates over and it would expose the flame. I like that a lot better. Yeah, I think it's... For higher heat. We like that flame sear. Yeah. Uh, Matreya said, laugh out loud. I'm in bed and have three Nintendo Switches around me. Convention staff life. Is All right. a convention this weekend, Matreya? But uh, what do when you play? When is she never not busy, though? <laughs> no. What do you play on your Switch? I've looked at to get the Switch, and I'm just... I just don't know what Is it the I'm new trying. version of the Game Boy? I think so. <laughs> That's Shana how far of the loop I am. <laughs> Uh, Shauna said, got my pin in everything for my high school letterman's jacket. Oh, oh that's wow. awesome. Make the balls, put them back in the bowl, and then make them tomorrow. Oh, I was well. thinking about it. But look, you got 30 seconds to go check on that. All right. And I heard the meatballs go off, oh, so that did? wasn't even a full 10 minutes. All right. Uh, oh, I read that one. So what all... Are y'all having for Christmas dinner? So I know that Wright family's doing the lasagna. What oh. else do y'all have planned for the Christmas dinner? I'm interested to know. Give me some ideas. Ooh, those are good. Ooh, might be a little done. Um, oh, Renee said Shelly is all purdy. What's the occasion? I'm just it's Friday. I'm just happy to be with y'all. That's the occasion. I was like, it's I'm gonna get purdied up for the hungry who word. Uh, because I just feel so fortunate that y'all decide to come and tune in with us. All right, let's see what these are at now, y'all. Baby, I thought Ooh. we told you to go lay down. Uh uh, Delilah. Oh, uh, baby. Come on, go lay down. Because <laughs> the problem, we don't mind her being in here. It just. But her and him, they're going to end up knocking over a couple of the tripods or something. What are these supposed to be at? 165, I thought. Ooh, it's saying no. 150. Hold on, beef, beef, 155. beef. Oh, well, these are 160. Well done is 165. Oh. Medium well is 155. Yeah, they're all over the place. Yeah. But they're all, I think they're at least 155. Yeah. They look done. Yeah. Most of them are 160s. So, we're so gonna... what I was thinking, why don't you go ahead and divvy them up in our bowls? Oh, okay. And then I can grab this and get it out of the way. Okay. And I can come set the uh, saucepan on there in the meantime. But in the not also, though, let me show you these and I'll let you know. You let me know if they're good or not. I think they're amazing. Oh, I don't think they're going to be done yet. Okay. Oh, 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 easy. Well, put a toothpick in. That's what I was supposed to say. Them. Speaking of tooth, well, hold on. I don't know if I can show this off. Look at this little decanter or this little display thing we have for our toothpicks. I don't know if y'all can even see it. I'm too far off camera. The cute? bird grabs it. I'm right. supposed to. There it goes. Mm -hmm. Oh, there yeah. They're way do not done. Yeah. So, That's what I thought. about 10 more minutes? Uh, probably. Here, let me see one. I'm just going to flip them over. Can you? Can you? <laughs> Here, let me flip it around so you can get to it. Can right. I make it easy, easier, harder? Ah, there we go. Oh, 
Well, no, that see that one looks like it might be done. But this one I stabbed wasn't. Well, these are the bigger ones. Oh, okay. Let's just see. Well, you want to pull those the last ones off? Oh I mean, yeah. It might be done. Let's see. I'm thinking maybe just five more minutes. Okay. Of let's, these big ones. But let's yeah. scoop all of them. Yeah, that's what I say. I scoop just all of them. Flip them. Okay. But yeah, I think these we can. Oh, okay. And I don't care if they're broken, because. Yeah, those are done. Okay, five minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. And then, oh wow, well, Jackie says 170 days until the low carb cruise. How exciting! And then 294 until KPL. Right. Wow, that is. I just realized today it was like wow, just two weeks left of 22, y'all. Ooh. Ooh, like, there ooh. are still times that I'm like, oh, it's 22? Like, I'm, I'm totally off track since 2019. Yeah, I was um, telling somebody at work the other day, I'm still getting used to writing 22, and it's supposed to be 23. I know. Isn't that something? Now, here, uh -huh. do you want this spoon or the ladle? Nah, that spoon will work. And then, do you mind getting my mayo out? Nah. -uh. And then I was going to do is top. Once you put that, I was going to top it with the parm. Yeah. Wow, this looks good. You'll have to show everybody what the sauce looks like. Okay. Wow, it looks really good, though, y'all. Do you want one of those coffees, the new one you just got? Uh, Is it cold enough yet? Uh, I don't or, know. I'll just take my water for right okay. now. Um, thank you. Matray, I mean, Wright family said, I feel bad for the delivery people, but our mailman is a jerk. Oh, our mail lady was on the route probably 30 plus years and retired, and he came in making demands. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it looks good, y'all. I'm afraid of spilling it. It's nice and chunky. Oh, nice. Okay. And then where did that little cup go? Remember? Oh, yeah. Here. Okay. You need another spoon? I feel like, because I got yeah. these here. I don't know if you're getting nice or not. Okay. Let's see how this goes, y'all. Has anybody ever mixed mayo with the marinara sauce before? And I was thinking, whatever we have left over, if we do, we just pour it back in the jar. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. And There's then... that. Okay. So I was thinking with that, I just put on this other one. And then... You could show everybody what yours. Final yeah. plate. All you know we need. Can you mind if I do it like that? Yeah, that's perfect. And then show them. Here, take that. Thank you. My water. This is my angry or evil meatballs and marinara. Right? That looks amazing, though. Right? See, when you eat like this, why do you even need the pasta? I know. We'll put this back on the fridge. Okay. It's too tall to stand up. I have to lay that container down. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, One thing I've been wanting to do. Bluegrass Girl said, I make hot dog buns in these awesome mesh pans. Oh, really? Oh, that'd be awesome. Well, send me a link. See if maybe we want to get them, too. Oh, Shauna said we were breaking up. Are we still breaking up? We're still married. We're not breaking up. Our voice. I think it was earlier when it was acting up. Sharon said, oh, no, my toes are now warm, and Chester just hopped on me, and he's purring. Sleep will be soon. Uh-oh. Getting the... um. Oh, I got it. You're getting your uh lullaby, right? Uh, well, hopefully you're sleeping well, uh, Sharon. Jamie said, we've had a Switch practically since they came out. I'm a Nintendo nerd from way back. Uh, oh, it's so good. L-O-Z for life. Mm. Shauna said, I'm heartbroken about Twitch, his poor wife and kids. I know. Isn't that just so sad? Wow, we're really behind. Swilson said, uh, has anyone ever had... 
any of these things done. Carpal tunnel surgery and trigger thumb release. Medical branch blocks in low back or radio frequency of ablation and spine. Oh, that was a lot. Um, I've never had any of those, but I can tell you, I know my mother had the carpal tunnel and she thought it was the best thing ever. Um, I don't know about the other things. Carrie said, just uh, Jen Delaney, it took me 34 years to heal from when my mom had her suicide when I was 16 and I'm now 50. Oh, I'm sorry, Carrie. It is very, it, it's tragic when you lose anybody for passing away. And it's definitely sad when somebody, um, you know, does unalive themselves. Okay, so I'm going to do three tablespoons of mayo in with this. Uh-oh. Did it just jump on me? Oh, no. It, there it is. Bluegrass Girl said, there are only four survivors of my son's unit from Iraq. The suicide rate is horrendous. Mm. Yeah, that's really hard on military. Shauna said, I'm on my regular schedule. I work Christmas night. Oh, sorry, Shauna. Well, he's going to be right there. He's working Christmas Day. Um, yeah, those I think look better. way better. Yeah. All right. Here's my, my rendition of a Rosa sauce. I know Rosa sauce, you usually put, um, heavy cream. <laughs> so I'm doing the mayo here. You want to, you try it and tell me what you think here. I'm oh. Gonna do. oh, okay. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah. All right. Let's have them get my fat in, y'all. All right. Let's try these balls. I haven't. I feel like we haven't had meatballs in forever. No, we haven't. Let's see. I think the last time we made them mm. was either I smoked them and remember I overcooked them mm -hmm. or... Mmm, that's really good. When well, we so did do juicy. the moink balls for the 2KK challenge. Mmm, -hmm. mm, they're juicy. Mm -hmm. The air fryer seemed to keep them juicier. Mmm, mmm. That's really good. Renee said, I don't tell a lot of folks my whole detailed story, but I was one who found my mother at Aww. 10 years old when she opted out. Poor when baby. suicide's on your mind, please think about who may find you and is that something you wish um, to be scarred on them forever? Yeah, exactly. I'm so sorry, Renee. So good. Uh. Matreya said, looking forward to the solstice sunrise. We are all going to Texas Roadhouse in the afternoon. Oh, how fun, Matreya. So that's is that's on the 21st. So is that Wednesday? When's 21st again? Yeah, it is Wednesday. So Wednesday, you're gonna do so do you get up extra early and uh, just interested in that. We're working. Um Aww. Bluegrass Girl said, my youngest arrives tonight. Plane lands at 11.45 from Virgin Islands. Oh, wow. He heads back on Tuesday working six days a week and holidays until January 2nd. Oh, wow. That's so exciting. I bet you cannot wait. All okay. right. Yeah, the video went wonky. That was like 30 minutes ago. Swilson said, I'm looking forward to having both my kids here and my mom on Christmas Day. Oh, wow. I am also excited to see my brother next Thursday. He got in from Florida last night. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm so happy for you, Swilson. That will be nice. Hey, let me have another bite, y'all. These are good. Mmm. But I have not eaten all day. So if any of y'all are following along on my uh, warden report um, today, oh, I have not. I've only had coffee today. 
Mm. And it wasn't even like intentional. Even though I wasn't busy at work, I was still busy, if that makes sense. It still felt like I had a lot to do. Or just, it, it, like the day just went by. And next thing I know, I'm like, oh, it's almost dinner. I didn't even, and you know what it was? Now I know. During lunch, my lunch break. Oh, yeah. Normally during the week, you know, Heath will, I'll go to lunch when Heath does. And so I'm watching him eat. And sometimes I do get hungry because his food smells amazing, right? Well, today he ate before I did. And I just went to lunch. And then at lunch is when we packed all of the steaks um, in our, um, what are they called again? Seal wraps. Food saver bag. Food saver bags. So I literally spent my whole lunch working on steak. Working on the twenty steaks we got. Because I gloved up. Because y'all know I'm funny like that. And um, I first I prepped ahead of her and I built all the bags, sealed them off on one end. Because we buy the rolls and we cut our own. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, built all the bags. Then she dusted them with the seasoning, and I loaded them for her. And then mm-hmm. she went back to work, and then I uh, sealed them all off and then packed them in the freezer mm-hmm. so we'd have them in a couple of weeks. Right. But, y'all, I've been really, really craving these breadsticks. I mean, I don't know if you've seen me do the uh, videos on it or whatnot or be talking about it in all the different groups. I do what I call my no I do the ground beef or ground sausage. And I do the so- sauce on it and everything. So it's basically spaghetti, but no noodles. But I just put dishes like these, I love dipping the bread in it. Mm-hmm. I've always done it. I know it's probably a bad habit because we're not supposed to eat bread anymore. But at least with keto chow, it's, it's good for me. Right? You get a little more protein in with that. Yeah. And I still get to eat like traditional style. I feel like I'm eating Italian food now. Sean, so I have no idea what happened in the middle of that story. I don't know. I was proud of my story I couldn't tell earlier. I'm sorry, y'all. Sharon said, um, I'm excited. My son actually has the 23rd, 24th, and 25th off. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Sharon. That's great. What day of the week is Christmas? Sunday. Uh, Melinda. Hey, Melinda. Welcome back. Said good evening, Horde people. Uh, gonna ear hustle why stuff sweet Italian sausage with Colby Jack cheese oh, sticks. Whoa, then we cover it with Alfredo sauce. Well, it seems we're not the only ones having Italian theme tonight, right? That sounds amazing, though. You know what I really liked about this meal, too? Mm-mm. It's really easy, it really is. Mm. That's really good. Shada said, well, I'll be up all night addressing cards, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry, Shada. Uh, Treat Your Elf said, it's definitely made me stronger. It happened for a reason, I guess. Had it been my sister or dad, I don't think they would have handled it at all. I'm not completely over it all, but it's a journey. Well, honestly, Renee, I don't, and, and anybody, I don't see how anyone could ever get over that. Um... I think you can eventually heal yourself from it, which, I mean, I think you're an amazing person for what you've gone through, but I don't think you'll ever get over, like, how could anybody ever possibly get over that completely? You know, I just don't see that that would happen, especially when it's somebody that's so close to you. Um, So I, you know, don't feel like you have to get over it. I guess what I'm saying, Phil, you know, it was something very traumatic and you know, it, it shows how resilient you are that you have managed to have a very successful life and to push yourself to be such a great person that you are, you know, and, and yeah, even though you had something very difficult happen, I feel like you didn't allow that to like hold you back in life. You didn't have that as your crutch. And I think that in itself is like showing your mom that, hey, you know what? I still did this in spite of what you put me through. All right. Um, 
And then Renee said, if my story can help others, that helps me. Aww. Reichland said, I'm finding that vanilla keto chow is largely underestimated when it comes to making different things. Huh? I agree. Matreya says, I love powerful mint. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Bluegrass Girl said, Notice they sweetened that keto brick. Normally not sweetened. That chocolate mint keto brick has was the bomb diggity. Mm -hmm. It really is. Um, uh, Andy's mints and Girl Scout thin mints are my perfect yes. mint. That's what Jackie said. Yes, I used to love mm. the thin mints, and uh, I would freeze them. But then I oh, yeah. discovered I could buy them year round at the dollar store. Yeah, I don't know why I was uh, five hundred pounds and diabetic. Right. Truly. Um, Carrie said, then you'll be minted with the powerful mint, Matreya. Mm -hmm. The only problem I have with a new Keto Brick flavor, it's a limited time only. <sighs> then oh, I'm going to have yeah. it year round. Right? Uh, Rocky Mountain Girl said, Andy's mints are my favorite, right? Those are no good. Water, yeah. Mm. In all honesty, y'all, it's still a struggle for me every time I go to the checkout at a grocery store to not look at the candy. Oh, because you were just so used to doing uh -huh. it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jamie said, same here. That's not a serving, a sleeve of the Andes mess, right? Right, right Manly said, my father-in-law said women should never touch or go near garden plants at certain times. Okay. Huh. I wonder what the theory behind that is. So most, I mean, there are certain plants because, um, like, I love mythology and folklore, and I've been uh, listening to an audio book, a book about American folklore and wow, it's so interesting. But yeah, there are certain um, herbs that I know um, can, like if, if you're trying to be pregnant or if you are pregnant, like you should avoid because it'll basically can cause you to miscarry. And I was like, oh, wow, that's crazy. One that that one friend of ours says she couldn't clean the litter box while she was pregnant because there's something about it that could mess with the baby. Oh, yeah. I've heard that, but this is talking about herbs, oh, like natural yeah, herbs. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, oh, wow, that's interesting. Oh, boy. Mm. Sorry, it's so good, y'all. Can't stop. So Wilson said, this time of year brings me down. Oh, oh I'm sorry. sorry. I think I'm going to head to bed. I'm going to catch up tomorrow. Bit of struggle the last two days. I'm good night. Sorry. Good night. Good I mean, night, Stacy. I hope you um, things start to go better. It's fine. You know your family's here for you. Reichwin said, start at three or four drops. You can add more than you can take away. Mm -hmm. Oh, for making the peppermint. Ah. Jackie said, that's what I thought, but couldn't taste it. It was only eight ounces of hot chocolate. <laughs> mm. Carrie said, we need some coffee posters for the non-coffee drinkers. I don't know what that would be. <laughs> Renee said, Keto said, that's what she said. Huh? Uh, Renee said, what did I miss at the start? Well, did you get the email about our channel members? Uh, tomorrow's our monthly cook along. I mentioned that at the start. And then. We spent about, I don't know, 30 minutes to tell everybody how great you were. But we're not doing that again. We don't have time. <laughs> and then. Um. Two weeks from today, the last Friday of 2022, December 30th, my coach, Samantha Souza, will be live with us on here to answer all of your questions. What does that mean? Not here live. Oh, She'll yeah. On film. I mean, uh, She'll remotely. be with us. Yeah, but I'm going to join her in, and we're going to go live and just chit chat. And she'll answer all of your questions. So make sure if you came in late, mark your calendars, December 30th, you'll have a live coach that you can ask any questions. Um, Jamie said, 
Oh, the meter is fancy. Nice gifts. Right? Shauna said, those are antiques, Shelly. Oh, wow. Antiques. Wow. That's cool. Thank you, Shauna. Mm. Matreya said, lovely. Shauna said, found those in a cute antique place. Oh, well, thank you, Shauna. I love antiques. Um, Carrie said, that's a wonderful necklace. Thank you. Rocky Mountain Girl said, beautiful. Shauna said, you're very welcome. Well, thank you. Uh, Reichlin said, beautiful necklace. Rocky Mountain Girl said, awesome towels. Marianne Roberts is here. Hey, Marianne. Howdy. She said, sorry I'm late. I've been watching while I cooked and then ate a yummy ribeye. How awesome, Marianne. Seems to be a rash not going around. Mm -hmm. mm. Those turned out perfect, didn't they? They really did. And though. we didn't have to do anything to them. I know. Because usually we'll, we'll mix in some like egg or <laughs> some pork rinds or something. Right. Just me. <laughs> Shauna said this week has been about 147 days long. <laughs> right? Mm. Well, I'm sorry. You've had a hard week. Mm. Um, Renee said he claims to be a cardiovascular surgeon. Is not, though, is not American, but belittles all over nationalities and women. There were several other therapists in our other unit. Boss gave him to me, and he had quite the different session today. No nastiness tolerated. Well, good for you. Like you're the enforcer. Right. <laughs> Your boss is like, oh, yeah, that's how you treat my staff? Just wait. I'm, I'm calling in the big guns on this one, right? Mm -mm -mm. The problem solver. Uh, Renee said she was not in my yard, screamed for hours in the woods across from me till I found her. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, poor little baby. And nobody else heard her? You know what, though? Huh? I was really expecting the, uh, the uh, tomato sauce to be spicier. Not with that little bit of a... Uh... Right, I should have put a whole bottle of the evil ooze. Uh -oh. mm. Shana said, push, there's enough theatrics. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm. Oh, here we go. Marie said, hey, Shelly, go to Christie's YouTube for the Keto Village and look up garlic fluff recipe. Mm. You could do that with a grated horseradish to make your own creamy horseradish. Oh, okay. I'll have to look at that. That sounds good. I do love horseradish. When we went, was it last Saturday we went to that seafood restaurant? Uh, maybe. And, uh, man, I, just, I always take all the horseradish. He usually doesn't eat it. It's all right. Mm. I'm getting full. Mm. Renee said she won something on the Kino Top Facebook. Where'd you win? Yeah. Probably That's chocolate. awesome. Probably chocolate. It's probably the pecan. Right. Wow, how exciting, Renee. I'm so happy you won something. Uh, Shauna said... I have no idea. We haven't even made family plans. One niece leaves for Germany on the 26th. Oh, wow. oh, no. Well, that doesn't seem like your family. I thought usually your mom and your brother and you have everything kind of settled out. <clears throat> Terry said, cool birdie for the toothpicks. Isn't that cute? My neighbor gave that to me, I think, last year. Oh, man. Oh, Mary Ann said that she's going to Universal Studios <clears throat> for the long Christmas weekend. Nice. So I haven't decided about dinner. Oh, how fun. Are you going to, like, stay at a local hotel and everything? Yeah, did you eat at the park? That's 
fun, Marianne. I bet. Oh, wow. I saw the two crazy ketos when they went there and I was like, wow, that's so neat. You're going to have a blast. Gosh, where to eat? Uh -huh. Right? There were some good places around there. Mm. Jamie said, I got two massive pork butts for buy one, get one. Oh, nice. Wow. We and started to buy one. I started to buy one today at 97 cents a pound, but she's like, we already have three in the freezer. Calm down, brother. Like, okay, do you want one of those or do you want to get some more ground beef? Yes. <laughs> but the good thing with us getting all these deals today, um, I don't think we'll need to go buy any more meat for the rest of the year. <laughs> Oh, and she got chocolates <laughs> for three ninety nine a pound. <laughs> so I'll be smoking those. Nice. Uh, what was it again for three ninety nine? A chuck roast. Oh, nice. Oh well, she got the she wanted for posting her pumpkin sausage soup. Oh, really? Wow. That's awesome. That's so great. I'm happy for you, Renee. Yeah. Okay, Jen said back. Cranberry bliss bars were mostly a success. Yay! I'm so happy. Now send me some. Right? Uh, Check her or it didn't happen. <laughs> well, she's going to have a video. I don't know. Uh, Shauna said, I should have paid attention to the breadstick recipe. It's just a basic keto child drop biscuit. Yeah, we but just didn't do it in a biscuit shape. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like we just, but you know, ours, since we don't ever use almond flour, we use pork panko, but it's that same recipe that I do for the keto child drop biscuits, but I just did it in log form. We've right? done one other time where we did it on a cookie sheet and just like just, she spooned it out and just laid it down. Yeah. Cause I find that keto child, it doesn't really spread that much. Yeah. And that's what uh, the recipe that's sent to the channel members, that's the same thing. Those don't really spread at all. And I just thought since we're doing tomato sauce that the creamy tomato basil would play well together. Mmm, yeah. that's good. Okay, Jennifer said an 11-pound brisket is bringing us brining, I'm sorry, brining as we speak and cooked fake apples, chaotic uh, Kyoto, Kyoto squash. I cannot talk. Deviled eggs, oh. broccoli salad, green beans, and a couple of carby sides for others. We're gathering this Sunday. Oh, wow. Wow, Jennifer, that sounds amazing. That does. And the uh, Kyoto squash, the fake apples. Mm -hmm. That's the one that like, Rhonda's always talking about. Right. Wow, that sounds really good. We've never found them. I don't think we've looked that hard either, though. Mm -hmm. What's in the balls and what's the sauce? So, recap. The ball is just 80-20 ground beef. We got it on sale today. Uh, I just mixed in some uh, homemade Italian seasoning, some of the uh, beef rub, and Texas Five Spice. Of course. And then we uh, just cooked them at uh, 400 Air fried 400 for about 10 minutes. I think maybe 30, 20 minutes. Wait, about 30 minutes total, I think. About 25 to 30. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we just check them, you know, make sure they're good. And then the sauce was just some Rayos, a little smidge of the uh, Evil Ooze, a little bit of water, and then we sauteed some onions and uh, mushrooms. Yeah. So he did that first. He sauteed in. And about a half a stick of butter, he sauteed red onions, mushrooms, and tomatoes. And then he added the rayos and the evaloos. What? The tomatoes I did. I just had a handful about this little, this little cup here. You know how he is with his tomatoes, Renee. I had about that much left over. And I just diced them up and threw them in there. <sighs> that tastes so good. Mm -mm -mm. Um, but that was it. 
Matreya said, yes, I want a new coffee. Please just have it delivered. Oh, what new coffee, Matreya? Jennifer said, I got my Tinder bundle. bundle. Yay! Thank you so much for donating wow. to our channel. Have you tried any of it yet? Um, I'm excited to start using it. Oh, yeah. oh I'm so happy, Jennifer. Well, thank you again. And thank you to everybody who donated for the Good. holidays. Yeah. To our channel. Um, and I hope you like your uh, appreciation gift. Uh, we really appreciate it. And um, we appreciate yeah. you appreciating us. Yes. So I'm just, I'm so happy. Definitely let us know what you think of all the spices, though. Um, Mary T said, hello again. As always, that looks great. Be making that this weekend. Oh, really, Mary? Wow. Thank you. Yeah. That's a really easy recipe, huh? Oh. Yeah, I can't wait to see your pictures, Mary. Shauna said, I just had 10 bags of coffee delivered that I got on Cyber Monday. Ooh, where'd you get it from? Is that Boca Java? It's honestly, we just came up, I just came up with this idea, what, about two nights ago? Yeah. Well, we were both going back and forth, kicking around different ideas, what we wanted to make tonight. And I just messaged her. I said, you know what? Let's make it easy. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, well, this is good. Yeah. I know. I was like, well, that sounds easy. And we haven't had meatballs in forever. And tell me this. What is y'all's favorite comfort cuisine? I thought we like, asked this last week. <laughs> did, not, oh, maybe. not meal cuisine. Oh. Like, um, I think mine really is Italian. Yours is probably Mexican, right? Yeah. But I, I think breakfast. I like Mexican breakfast, honestly. Yeah, that is good. Or <laughs> or Tex Mex, because everything we have has really been Americanized, really. Yeah, we let's be honest, it's Tex Mex here. But I just find like he had for his lunches this week, he called it what pizza bowl or whatever. Yeah. And it just that like pizza and then um, like pizza again tonight, basically. Meatballs, uh -huh. the marinara, lasagna, all of those. Like I would say, in general, Italian food is very comforting. <laughs> she kept eyeballing my lunch all week. Yes, she's like, oh my god, this looks and smells amazing. But um, and she kept stealing bites from me too. <laughs> I'd have a half, like a half of a teaspoon of a bite, but and then I, another one, and then another. <laughs> no, I saw you. Really? I seen it in my what own I eyes. I knocked you out so I could get to it because you were like this. Because I knew you were coming for it. But I find Italian cuisine very comforting. It's just, I just feel like it's a very warming food. And I know mm -hmm. a lot of times people will say, oh, Italian's too hard to eat out. But really, I don't find Italians any more difficult than anything else because especially if it's a good Italian, you can, a good Italian restaurant, you can get a steak. Uh-huh. Um, and then other places, you could just say, you know what, just give me the sauce, no pasta. Right. I mean, you could do that. Um, but I have noticed more and more, it seems like they're, they're starting to carry like zoodles and stuff. Mm -hmm. We've been to a couple of Italian places that had zoodles in place of an actual noodle. Um, but yeah, I just love Italian food. I'm not going to teach them how to do this. <laughs> right? They have, there's your breadstick. Exactly. Um, but you know what I think? I know you like these, but really the best breadsticks we made were those ones that was kind of like a, a garlic fathead dough type. Oh. And remember, it was because of the mozzarella, it made it really... Um, Remember, pull Stringy. apart. Uh, yeah. Do you remember what I'm talking about? Vaguely. Yeah. And we did a whole pan of them and then topped it with more Parmesan and garlic and, and Italian seasoning on top. And then when it came out, you were like, these are the best. They're just okay, like we're gonna do. We're the gonna ones from um, Olive Garden. Olive Garden, yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's not make them the best. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> middle, middle, middle of the road. Let's do those on the 30th then. And show it off to your coach. Uh, but anyways, um, <laughs> but yeah, what's so your favorite comfort cuisine? I'm saying barbecue. not meal, the actual cuisine. Barbecue. Barbecue. Texas Q. Yeah. 
Texas, yeah, because you got to be specific because barbecue is very regional. So to somebody in the Carolinas, they're thinking you're thinking poor, pulled pork. Uh huh. And but you're talking somebody in Kansas would be thinking ribs, but you're really talking mostly brisket, brisket. and maybe the sausage, right? Mm -hmm. Like the central, the uh, hill country sausage. Yes. The way they do it in the hill country. Like it just has those bursts of fat and then that skin. Remember, it just has that pop to it. So good. Now we got to get barbecue tomorrow now. Uh, Shauna said, time and a half for working Christmas night means cruise mm. money. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's awesome. That's what I'm thinking about too when I got to work Christmas day. Because y'all, <laughs> my job, I only get a holiday off if it lands on a Friday or a Saturday. Mm -hmm. Or I take PTO. Right. But Marie said, do those special lights for seasonal affective disorder actually help even a little? Oh, I have no idea, to be honest. Yeah, I don't want to lie to you. I'm just straight up. I don't know. Matrice said, yes, we get up around 4 a.m. Oh, wow. But you're an early bird anyways, Matreya. Like, you're up and half your day's gone before I can even get out of bed. Before you but, put your toe out of the bed. <laughs> I know. So are you taking the day off on uh, Wednesday? But that sounds like fun. Actually, uh, a group here that I have friends with, they invited me um, to their solstice party tomorrow night. But I was like, well, we already got plans, but thanks for inviting me. But it sounds fun. Like they're doing it at a a bar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, but I was like, oh, that sounds like fun. Um, okay. Atreya said, who's a doctor, by the way. A doctor of English, right? Huh. Uh, yes, light therapy is proven to be helpful for seasoned, seasonal affective disorder. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, Marie said, I like to use a cookie dough scoop to get my meatballs to be fairly equal size. That's a good idea. And we had a melon baller. Well, yeah, but that was a small one, though. Yeah, but the cookie small. dough, that's actually really smart. Thanks, yeah. Marie. Yeah. Lloyd said, first time watching live. I really enjoyed it. Thank Watched you. Watched it all. That's awesome. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in, Lloyd. No, we do this every Friday, so yeah. we hope you can uh, join us for dinner every week. And welcome to the Hungry Horn, Lloyd. I hope yes, you thank you. Um, continue. And again, if you have any questions, let us know. Jackie said, I'm going to start heading to the tanning bed again soon. It helps me a bit. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Karen said, hey, Shelly and Heath. Sorry hey. for jumping in late. What did you make? Hey, Karen and Norm. You missed me playing with my balls. Oh, gosh. We made meatballs and marinara. We just used, we didn't make the homemade marinara. We just jazzed up some rails. Yeah. Rails, rails, however you say it. See, he was just waiting for somebody to ask him that tonight. What? Your phone's <laughs> breaking up. What'd you say? But all we did for the meatballs is we, it was just meat with Italian and Texas five spice, of course, um, seasoning. And that was it. We didn't do breadcrumbs or eggs or any of that. We don't eat bread. Yeah. Well, you know, poor <laughs> panko. Um, but none of the binder stuff that usually people will add to meatballs. He just did basically meat and seasoning, put in the air fryer, 400 for about 25 minutes. Um, and then with the Rayos, he added the Evil Ooze by um, Hotline Pepper Products. And, of course, we added some um, onions and mushrooms and a little bit of tomatoes to it as well. And that was, and then oh yeah, we made our breadsticks. That's these. Um, and this is just the keto drop biscuits. Same recipe. We just did them in a, a log form. Yeah, basically. we just used our. Um, they turned out really, really good. Hot dog bun that he got me like eight years Nut ago. Bun. Huh? huh? You said a hot dog bun. Hot dog bun maker. Yeah. Isn't that what it is? Well, it's a pan. Yeah. Well, okay, but yeah. So here's the little keto chow. Um, breadsticks. breadsticks. They turn right? out really, really good. But you know what I would do differently with these is after you pulled them out, if we had melted some butter and garlic and then brushed that oh, over the top. Oh, we gotta make another batch. Probably. Um, whoop. Jen said, I just made pizza eggs. Oh, how nice. Yeah. That 
That sounds good. I've seen you making those, but we've never made them before. Mm-mm. Maybe we need to try. Marie said, I've been thinking of doing my meatball recipe using pork rind crumb, crumbs instead of bread crumbs. Uh-huh. Christy has been sharing a lot of different meatball recipes in her group lately. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I mean, you can definitely add the pork rind crumbs to it. Um, I've done that before when I've made meatballs. Mm-hmm. And it, it is good doing it that way. Marie said she bought one of those silicon meat molds and meatball size, so has been um, doing lots lately. Oh, I beg, got to get your use out of it. Well, that's pretty cool, but you know, you using the scoop sounds like that's just as easy, right? Right. Rocky Mountain said, um, "Enjoy being here, but it's time for me to go. I'm up before sun. Good night. Good, Good night. night, Rocky Mountain girl. Thanks for joining yes. us. Thank you. Have a great weekend." Marie said, one of my first NSVs on Keto's was not feeling tempted by the candy in the checkout lane. Right. Exactly. Right family said, it's an old wives thing about our cycles. It says if we go in the garden, we can kill the plants during it? Really? Wow. That's weird, but okay. I've never heard that one before. Well, um, because aren't you more in the Appalachia? So maybe that's like, because I've been reading Radiant a lot about old. Appalachian folk, folklore. Yeah. So that does seem like something they would come up with. That's why you want those oysters, huh? <laughs> Shada said the non-coffee drinker poster would be, sorry, you're decaffeinated. <laughs> awesome. That's great. Oh, Renee said, dang, what time's the cook-along? I'm going on a road trip. What? You didn't tell me about this road trip? Um, oh, that fudge looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you um, going? Yeah, it's at 6 p.m. Central. You cooking along with us again? Right? Uh-uh. Jackie said something. It's the brand Nisha uses. What brand? Oh, she's asking somebody else. Uh-huh. Um, Jerry said, good night, y'all. Have good a night. blessed night. Hope to make it tomorrow with the cook along. Well, thank thanks, you, brother. Jerry and Patty. And I'm Jeffrey. glad you didn't have your eye appointment today. Right? Good night. He's already gone, though, huh? Probably. Yeah, We're about 10, we? 20, 10. 20 minutes behind. Of course. Shauna said, oh, but the trip to the chiropractor fixed the vertigo. Well, that's really good. I'm so awesome. glad that helped you. Jackie said, the peppermint sweet drops are putting in my hot chocolate. Mmm. That sounds good. I'm going to tell y'all, um, you just have to be, sometimes the seasoning, the flavors, those oils, sometimes you can overdo it. Because uh, I had one lately, and I was just like, oh, that's too much. Uh, so just definitely be, like, slow and cautious with it. Shauna said, I'm going to say I'll be right back, but I'll probably be back before you get to this comment. Wow. Thanks, Shauna. Jackie said, I think I'm at 40, calling it quits. Oh, well, have a good weekend, Jackie. See if I can do this without Oh, getting our mask. 40 drops? Oh, my gosh. That sounds real good. <laughs> <laughs> On a cooking show. Jennifer whoa, said, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Oh gosh. Here's a uh, napkin right there for me. See the edge? No. You know, there. Right there. Yeah. Thank you. Jackie, uh, Jennifer said, I don't know how you handle all that heat. I'll even be using the Tinder bundle very sparingly. Oh, wow. Um, I, I well, guess. Mostly it's, poblanos that's in that. Yeah. I think what it is, it's years of conditioning. You're not very good at keeping this inside the earth. Do watch work, work on your uh, comments. Talk um, to your people. They're yours too. Um, but I, I guess it's years of being here, conditioning. And I think just some people are, sorry that's loud, are just more apt to handle heat better. Uh, because honestly, like in my family, like, my mother, she's not crazy about spice. She, your, your grandmother certainly wasn't. Oh, yeah. My grandmother certainly was not. She was afraid of black pepper. Yeah. Um, my father, I mean, he likes some spicy, but it, I would say he would, it wouldn't even like it as much as he likes it, right? He, 
even his spice level wasn't that high. And then um, now my brother can eat some spice. Like he'll eat, you know, whole jalapenos and stuff, and he'll eat some spicy stuff. Oh, but um, the yeah, and then like I'm trying to think, I think most of my cousins and stuff, none of them really eat real spicy food. So, um, but I think also part of it was as a, a child, it was kind of a um, challenge for me. Like, oh, can I eat that spicy thing since nobody else could, right? It was like, oh, they can't. Because I was very much the personality of if my mother did something, I wanted to do the opposite. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like, if she wasn't into spicy, it was like, oh, well, if she doesn't like it, it must be really good then, right? <laughs> We're done baking. I need to turn the oven off. Oh, yeah. So, I think that was part of it, too, is it was more of a challenge of, well, if my mom's not going to eat it, I bet I can. That's me. Um, whoops. Let's see. Rockwood said, look for just the extracts in the cooking section, not the sweeteners. They are stronger and you can sweeten otherwise. Oh, that's a great suggestion, Rockwood. Blue Dove said, me too, Jennifer. My bottle's only a fourth gone so far. Oh my gosh. Um, what was that? Oh. Oh, what? We got a super chat? From who and why? Oh, Karen, thank you so much. She said, Merry Christmas. Have some coffee on us. Hugs, Karen and Norm. Aw, thank you. Thank you so much, Karen. And Merry Christmas. And to Norm, you. too. And Norman. And we have, um, actually, it's just shipping out tomorrow. So you should be getting something in the next few days as well. Oh, okay. It's going to the restroom again. Um, but thank you so much. That really means a lot to us. Uh, Renee said, evidently it's called I Spy on Keto Chow Facebook group. Had no idea that was a thing. Glad I referenced that it's pumpkin sausage soup a la warden style. Uh, right? That's good. Tree Year Elf said, I definitely can't take the credit for the recipe. Well, I don't feel like we can either. We just slightly adjusted it. Wright Family said, we're going to get off and go to bed. It's been a long day. Oh, good night, Wright Family. Good night, Brantley. Happy birthday, Elizabeth. Of course, you're probably gone. But anyways. Oh, Shauna's returned. I, I just didn't know what to do with myself, Shauna. Uh, Lloyd said, hi, Shelly, what mayo do you use? Oh, that's a great question. Actually, I generally make my own mayo. We do have a recipe on the web, on our page on how to do it. Like, it's so easy. It takes less than five minutes to make your own mayo. All you need is some avocado oil, egg, and a couple extra things. It's actually Too Crazy Keto's recipe. So you could definitely do your homemade recipe. And as much as I use mayo, that's just cheaper. But I would say if you have to do store-bought, my favorite is Primal Kitchen um, avocado mayo. Or I, I haven't tried it yet, but a lot of people also suggest the Chosen Foods avocado mayo. But uh, it's so easy to make your own. Like I definitely recommend it literally less than five minutes and it most of the ingredients you should have on hand so all you need is an egg lemon juice or lime juice apple cider vinegar and i'm going to tell you if you don't have one of those you just double up so if you don't have lime or lemon juice just use a little more uh apple cider vinegar and vice versa some salt a little bit of mustard and then your avocado oil and you just put it all and use an immersion blender. And I mean, I do this every other day. It's so easy to do. So easy, even the warden can do it. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Oh, I flipped her upside down so she didn't take it off. Hey, Grillin' Keto is here. Hey, Grillin' Keto, how you doing? Uh, Renee said, favorite comforting cuisine tends really tends to be Southern Americana. All of the meats and gravies and breakfast. Ooh, that does sound good. 
Southerners love their butter and bacon grease. That's true. Mmm, that sounds good. Uh-huh. Uh, Jamie said she makes it, Lloyd. I think there's a video too. Yeah. Oh, thank you for answering. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, um, Jackie said not as sorry as my mouth. Uh oh. What happened? I don't know. Brightwood said Southern style breakfast with crispy fried fish. What? Eggs, sausage gravy and keto chow biscuits. Ooh, my ketofication of Southern style diner meal. I don't think I've ever had fried fish. What's this? So oh. you can open it open. Oh, I just saw that one today. Show them, show them first, I guess. Look what I, I found, y'all. I don't think I've ever had fried fish for breakfast. I haven't either. Wow, that sounds interesting. I do like a good fried fish. Well. Look at that, y'all. I cut it and still... Tore? Still didn't open. Well, it's a little bit here, but... That's ridiculous, wasn't it? Oh, do you want to make my tea, dear? Your tea? Which tea? Seriously. Um, There's a... You know, the tea I've been drinking every night. And my cup's there. No, I don't know what you're my talking about. My clear glass cup. It's a clear glass cup. Okay. How about I hand you the stuff? You tell me what to do with it. Yeah, and then um, takes a, a couple cups of water and heat it up. Two, two, two. Um, but that <clears throat> sounds good. I would definitely try it. Blue Dove said pizza was mine, so Italian for me too. Of course, Twinsy. Uh, Alfredo on everything, please. Ooh, a cheesy Alfredo. That does sound good. And then over there, there's a little plastic spoon by my coffee and then a little bag of the um, tea. Y'all, this tea I have gotten, it was sent to me, right? This one? Yes. And then, and then there's a, yeah, there we go. Ugh. So it's called, they, they sent it, and it's called uh, Yule Tide. Doesn't that sound good? Uh, it's amazing. I don't, and it's, it was just like a limited thing. So, like, oh. I can't even order more. What? If we were still making salads, uh -huh. we could take this, uh -huh. cut it up, and make it into croutons. Oh, that's true. Uh, okay. So what is in this tea? I love all these. It is black tea, cinnamon, orange peel, peppermint, cloves, rose hips, nutmeg, and hibiscus. Doesn't that sound amazing? And I wish sounds like a witch's brew. Oh, do you want to? It's it to me. It's like this is Christmas. Do you want to try one of those crispy cookies? Sure. Or no? I really want to try this. Okay. I love these. Last I time wish y'all had smell a vision because this smells so divine. Every day, I just. <sighs> yeah, yeah, covered my face. Renee says she loves a cheesy Alfredo. Yes. Shauna said, I think my comfort cuisine might be breakfast. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, all right. This is all the tester cookies that I've been making all week. Let me see here. The crispy ones are holding up pretty well. Yeah, they are. Well, now they're starting to fall Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh. What did you do? That, uh, the, uh, the burner was on. But considering these were made, what, Tuesday? Um, so, I mean, you can see they're, they're kind of crumbly. But there's the crispy cookie. So I think from Tuesday till now, that's holding up pretty good. Okay. Oops. My tea's almost ready, you guys. <coughs> tea with Shelly. Or tea with the warden, right? Not as good as Matreya's, but okay. So, 
But yeah, this tea is just like, I didn't even know what the tea would be when it came in. It was like a free gift. Um, oh. But I can't even order more, which I'm very sad about. Like, I'm like, y'all need to make more of this. And I'm like, sorry, it's just a, a seasonal thing that we just did. And I'm like, oh. Was well, it play. basically all the remnants <laughs> from all the stuff, the stuff they were making? I don't think so. I think they just I splashed some water. Oh yeah, I think they just uh, just made enough for like it was a, a holiday box. Well, you can make it a holiday every day then. All right, let me see here, you guys. And I know I'm probably not, like, making tea correctly. Like, if there was a British person, they'd probably be very offended with the way I make tea. Like, no. oh, my gosh, you're putting tea in the mic or putting water in the microwave? I know that's, like, a no-no. Silly calling us to. Right? But, okay, here's my... And I actually got this cup last year from Nespresso. Is this yours or mine? You can have it. I can get another one in a minute. <laughs> okay. So, I just like the clear. So, we got to give that a few minutes, though, right? So, we'll see how this goes. Okay, there's that. So, Shauna said her comfort cuisine is breakfast, which breakfast is really freaking good. And I get that because you remember at KPL, she was all like, oh, let's go have breakfast. Yeah, and then on the cruise, breakfast, I feel like, is the best option, really. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Jamie said, except for the boiled eggs, right? Uh. Renee said, smash that thumbs up. Yes, please. Thank y'all. Okay, Jackie said, my comfort food was chicken and dumplings. I haven't tried making a keto version. Chicken and dumplings is really good. And Renee can't handle the dumpling texture, but she'd eat the chicken and bits of broth or gravy sauce, whatever you call it. Okay, Rhett, let's try this again on camera. And this one? Same one? Yeah, that one's yours. This is the, what everybody got tomorrow. It's our crispy cookie. This is as close as I could get. I'm going to tell y'all, it ain't perfect. Looks like a, a and You cracker. know what it reminds me of? There were some British cookies I used to get in a sleeve. And, well, biscuits. But I remember them, and they were pretty good. Here, think. Uh. What's a biscotti? All of a sudden, it just came to my mind. Mm -mm. Isn't that Italian? Like, they used to give you those as a... As a but it's longer, usually. Yeah. Not a biscotti. Oh. I don't know where, oh, there it is. Well, since Tuesday is when I made these. I held up. They held, I mean, there there is some crumbs. Which I would expect. But overall, I feel like it's held up. Mm -hmm. The flavor's good. But you know, we don't like things real sweet. So you That's should always really adjust. Though. Huh? I feel like this is really sweet. It is pretty sweet. Mmm. Mmm. Now... The way I did this for the channel members is I made it basically like a base sugar cookie. So you can always adjust it. Like if you wanted to add a flavoring to it, like I did add a little bit of, I have this Italian citrus flavor. I forget the name of it, but That's I added a little sweetness. bit. Huh? That's the sweetness. No, it, there's no sweetener in the not, flavor not extract. Not citrus though. Yeah, that, so that added a little citrus just because I wanted some kind of fresh. But and then I wanted to see how would it do with a little bit of a flavor extract. So I think you could take the sugar cookie and add like a peppermint extract or um, that chocolate. That sounds awesome, actually. Right, any of those or maple extract, and then you could have those type of flavoring in the cookie. That was my idea, anyways. Jackie said. We've all got something. I can't handle yogurt texture. That's an interesting one. Jamie said, I use pork panko and parmesan and meatballs. I can hardly make enough to have leftovers. Well, if you buy five and a half pounds of ground beef, of course, there's four of y'all, right? 
But yeah, definitely you can. We normally will add pork panko and parmesan. But he was like, no, I just want meat. Jackie said, I'd literally try eating the yo plain flavored yogurts like orange cream, cherry, etc. It would gag. I had to freeze or throw it out. Oh, wow. Well, I have to say, honestly, I never cared for yo play. Me either. Uh, um, I did not like the. T okay, here's my thing. When it comes to yogurt, like if it is. Look, my hair's already falling, y'all. I had it way up when we started tonight. Um, when it comes to like yo play and most of those in that genre, yeah, you're correct. The texture is kind of like this sliminess to it, if that makes sense. Uh -huh. It was like this, like it was almost like a, a milk that was kind of like curled. solidified, <laughs> not curled, but solidified, right? And I did not like those, but I do like a really rich yogurt, like Fage's 5%, because the texture isn't that sliminess. It's this real kind of um, thick creaminess, almost like a, um, I don't know if I want to say a pudding or it's just the it's a different texture than what you would get at yo play yo play and all of them uh, uh i remember now those weren't i didn't like that texture but uh, the it's kind of like you know what i feel like fage is closer to a sour cream that same type of texture would you agree mm -hmm. Uh, Haley's here. Hey, Haley. She said, sorry I'm late. It's okay. You know we're still here. I'm just in time for the dishes. <laughs> you tell her that every week. Mm -hmm. uh, Shauna said, I'll laugh out loud. I just kill plants naturally, right? It's a slow one for me. Um, Haley said, I'll have to watch the replay later. Sorry, I missed most of the Friday Night Feast. It's okay. We know you're busy. Wasn't her saying earlier she was a uh... I thought uh, it was Shauna that said she was a plant hospice. <laughs> right? Uh, trying to speed this along here. Isn't that a pretty color, y'all? Looks like muddy water. You're so negative. No, I'm you, positive. That's what it looks like. You love tea. Um, Jackie said, I think I finally killed my orchid when i tried repotting it oh it's so sad orchids i heard though are very testy jamie said there were rules about handling food and being around others when uh menstruating too old attitudes about it being dirty yeah i kind of remember that too different yeah it was like oh my gosh but yet, we're the ones who bring life into the world. How is that a dirty thing? Anyways, I'm not going to get on my soapbox. Uh, Renee said, the Chosen Foods mayo just seems to have a weird gelatinous texture. When I picked up a jar at HEB, rolled it around, it just congealed blob. Oh, that's interesting. See, I've never um, tried the Chosen. Again, I just feel like... Usually I'll go to Primal Kitchen, mm -hmm. I guess, because I've had it so often. I know it's a good brand. Or, I, I mean, honestly, you guys, try making mayo yourself. It's so flipping easy. It's so much cheaper. And then to me, you can customize it. Because, like, you saw my little two-cup holder. I could put, um, you know, uh, like we did in our video where I added the Harissa to it. I've done it where I added Texas Five Spice. I've added some of the flat iron seasonings. And um, I think I did one with the MCT. So that's our hot sauce. You can really customize the flavor of the mayo for what you're feeling like for that next few days. Um, Renee said, I could be wrong and it might taste great, but that just was off-putting. I get that. Sometimes when you see something, you're like, oh. Jackie said, he, on my last upload, there was a mishap in the kitchen. Uh-oh. We haven't got to watch all of yours. No, not yet. I'm sorry. We've been like each day. Well, first of all, was it Monday and Tuesday? 
Is that when we want we we oh, finalized yeah. Tulsa King? Has anybody else watched Tulsa King? I'm so mad at how it ended. Uh, like that was not a good season from in uh, uh I know finale. we really thought there was more coming out. We were like, oh okay, well I can't wait to see next week. So then it was like, no, that's it. <laughs> but anyways, and then um Y'all, you know, I've always loved uh, like Sherlock Holmes, mm -hmm. everything on that line, and I love Henry Cavill. Um, oh, I love you too, honey. But anyways, the, I didn't know about this till Facebook told me. There's, um, if anybody watches uh, Stranger Things, you know Millie Bobby Brown, who plays Seven. So she came out a couple years ago in a movie called Enola Holmes. So she's like his little sister, Sherlock Holmes' little sister. So in the first one, she's Enola Holmes, and Henry Cavill plays Sherlock. Um, oh, that's what that was? Okay. Whatever. No, seriously, it's, I didn't know that. Oh, goodness. So we watched that one, and I know the new one, number two, was just released. So we will be watching that hopefully this weekend. That was such a good movie, y'all. It really was. It really is a good, I wouldn't even consider it a wholesome movie. Yeah. Right? I mean, I don't remember there being, like, there wasn't anything overtly gory or mm. violent. Uh -uh. And then no, I don't remember if there was really any cuss words. Not that I remember. I think there maybe one maybe. or two. <laughs> Um, but I found it overall, like, I thought it was a really good movie. And I could tell if I really enjoy a movie, I stop getting on my phone and I get totally immersed in it. And that's what happened is I was like, oh, this is really good. So, yes, I love that. Highly recommend Enola. So we watched that, I think, Monday and Tuesday. And then we had to get caught up on all of Matreya's on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And then we just Jen. finished Jen's yeah. last night before Keto or uh, Two Crazy Ketos right. went on. So we're trying to go through each channel and watching get all everybody's caught. stuff. But we'll get to yours. And we still got to get to Dawn's too. Oh, yeah. And Crafty. I don't know if Crafty's in here tonight. I saw her earlier, um, I thought. Reichwin said, I don't really like the Chosen Foods mayo. It is greenish and doesn't taste that good. Oh, that doesn't even sound good. Marie said, growing up at family reunions, the uncles and older kids would always go trout fishing. Uh -huh. And we would have a fish fry breakfast. Oh, wow. No batter or breading, just fish, oil, salt, and pepper. So good. Wow. Okay. That sounds good. I've never done it that way. That's, no. that's different. Well, you know, growing up, I didn't know anybody that was around here that fished. Like, if we had fish, well, one, if we had fish, it was catfish that my mother got nuggets from the grocery store. Uh -huh. Did you have, I guess your family in Louisiana probably fished. Yeah, we did all the time. No, oh, but you never had it for breakfast. Not for breakfast, we had it for dinner. And they uh -huh. always cut it, They're, they were very specific in their recipe. They always did it in cornmeal. But they would cut it in hand size uh, pieces. Yeah, that's how my mom yeah. did the nuggets, the catfish. Mm -hmm. Was yours catfish or what? Yeah, mostly. Oh yeah. So that's how my mom did hers too. Is it was well, I would say it was smaller than the palm, mm -hmm. and then she would toss it in cornmeal. No, she actually got the Louisiana fish fry. Yes, Remember yeah, that same brand? thing. That's cornmeal in that yeah. too, though. But it was Louisiana fish fry, mm -hmm. and that's what she would uh, fry up. No, that was, but we never had it for breakfast either. It was always like dinner uh -huh. with, uh, and then she would home make tomato or uh, tartar sauce. Oh, wow. She always homemade the tartar sauce because it was too expensive to just buy tartar sauce on its own. So she would just combine stuff and make it herself. Uh, Grilly Keto said, Mayo has just been a pass for me now. I can't find any that are good and don't have the patience to try and make the bacon fat kind. Well, what about the avocado oil? Or are you, are you trying to avoid avocado oil? Um, I, when I've done the a bacon fat, I did that a couple years ago, and it just it would be too hard in the fridge. And I'm, it's hard for me to plan ahead and be like, oh yeah, I want to have mayo. Let me set it out, you know, because in thirty minutes I'm going to need to have it, you know. Um, but I find the avocado mayo. It works really well. 
Reichwitzen, one of the guys I used to work with, got me started on fried fish for breakfast. Every Friday, the cafeteria in the hospital would have fried fish. Their slender fillets have fried up crisp. Oh. That sounds really good. I mean, I would try it. I like fish. Yeah. Because we actually, yeah, I think it was last Saturday when we went to the fish seafood camp. restaurant. Yeah. I mean, oh. that was really good. Uh, Jamie said she likes the hazelnut lilies. What did you think of it? It's really good. This is really good. I mean, now that I know I can no longer have the uh, peanuts anymore, I'm really starting to dig hazelnuts. I never used to. I didn't really like them. Huh. Wow. Uh, Renee said you could use the breadsticks to make a loaded onion soup with big croutons on top smothered in cheese. Uh, That's a good idea. Uh, oh, look who we see here. Caboodle Brian. Hey, brother. Hey, Brian. Said great evening, y'all. Been ear hustling still and for the most part. Hope everyone's having an awesome Friday and have a fantastic weekend. You too, Brian. Thank you, bro. How you been doing? I feel like for some reason I haven't seen you that often, like anywhere. Uh, Renee said, perfect weather for soups and chilies this weekend. Yes, this weekend and next. Renee, I know y'all are a little warmer, but next Thursday we're supposed to get in the 20s. Well, Brian's been busy. Remember him and Karen got that little thing going on with that I electrician. Know. Poor That's things. Horrible. Mm. Brian said, I'll be making creamy Southwest taco soup for sure. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, remember, we were talking about doing that. I don't know if we can do it still this week, though. Ooh. We're talking about doing tortilla soup and using mm. the egg life to make our own tortillas to go in it. Mm -hmm. The tortilla strip strips. Mm. Remember, we had that chicken in the, free in the freezer. We could do that. Yeah, but we got all this roast to eat first. Maybe. <sighs> Uh, Jamie says she's excited for crispy cookies. Well, they're just for you, Jamie. So yes. I, I hope you like them. I, I'm sorry if they are right. not what you're wanting. I tried. I gave it my good old. What did they say? I college gave it a try. Good college try. Um, but I hope you do like it. I I really did try. There was so many tries. He got to eat all the failures. Jackie. In said, fact, a lot of the stuff, uh, the crumbs and everything. I scraped it off into a pile and put it in a little bowl so I can do it as a mix-in for my, my creamies. Waste not, want not. Jackie said, hashtag team soft cookies. Amen. <laughs> that's It's easy to make soft, chewy cookies. I know. That's why I, I love them. And I'm it seemed like whatever I tried... And I even tried a couple recipes where they claimed they were keto crispy cookies. I was like, okay, let me try, try to get kind of an idea. And they still didn't turn out. And I'm like, how did they get the crispy cookie? Because this ain't crispy. What's that one doing? You keep using that word, but you, you don't know what it means, obviously. I know. So I tried like. Oh, it was lovely. I loved that though. <laughs> I think seven or eight different types. Like I was trying all, and I read all about, you know, like the science behind it. Um, she went all like, brown on it. Yeah, I was like, okay, well, what makes a, a chewy cookie versus a soft cookie? Uh, and they or chewy cookie versus a crispy. And the main thing I found is that, um, and I got a lot of this from King Authors uh, Flower, but they were like, basically, what makes a cookie soft and chewy is protein and water which is what you're gonna find in eggs and butter and they were like so if you use those things you're have a more tendency for those to be softer and chewier depending on how much you use because i even tried just doing like egg yolks and i tried doing like butter that you know i whipped up and with the sweetener what like about all, ghee huh? what about using ghee well, I didn't have enough ghee, okay. but, um, and so finally I settled on this recipe and I was like, I think this is the best one. It was purely by accident too. Cause when I first did it on one, I was like, oh, this is going to be horrible. And I put it out and I was like that there's no way this is going to, it's going to be just, it's going to be like this. It's just going to 
fall completely apart. And then, and so I only did one of them. If you watch the warden report, you could see, I was like, there's no way that's going to work out. Like no way. And then when it turned out, I was like, what the heck? How did that one turn out right? And all these other ones didn't. Uh, but anyways, Heath has been loving it because he loves soft, chewy cookies. So he's like, give them to me because some of them actually they were turned, perfect. <laughs> yeah, it turned out almost like pillows. It was almost like so, cake. Yeah, it was like a cakey cookie. And I was like, and I didn't even put egg in that. How did it turn out so cakey? Yes, it has been fun. Yeah, it's been fun. It's been there. I definitely learned some things. How about that? The warden's um, experimental kitchen. I know. Mm. Those are good. The little hazel pills. Uh huh. Shauna said, "It's tea time. I just made Trader Joe's winter wake up. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, oh, I might have to find this black tea, cinnamon, orange peel, licorice, ginger, cloves, and flavoring. That sounds amazing. I love licorice." That sounds really good, Shauna. Now I gotta find that. Send me a picture of it so I know what I'm looking for. Jackie said, I just had perfect keto soft cookies. Not perfect, but definitely helps hit the sweet meat. I bet. Uh, Jamie said, Thin Mints, Oatmeal Scotchies, Oreos, Chips Ahoy, all crispy. I don't know what an oatmeal scotch is. Do you? No. But I was never a fan of oatmeal, so. Oh, that's true. But yeah, you're right. Oreos and Chips Ahoy were, were crunchy. Uh-huh. Jackie said, Thin Mints are the only good crispy ones. I always soaked Oreos in milk. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jamie said, Maple, oh, just got some of that. What did you think? Really Keto said, gotta run, everyone. Have a great night. Good night. Really Really Keto. Uh, Jamie said, I would have had to pay $8 for a knee seed, so passed on that. Oh, yeah. Like, you don't have to add the aniseed, um, especially at that price. And you don't need too much. I mean, you could. I was just trying to put in more of, uh, like, holiday seasonings in it. Um, <clears throat> now, I would say, do you have any star anise? Like Starney would be good. I've been mm, that's so good. Okay, but I know that's expensive too. Uh Renee said, Yo play seemed like yogurt soup, right? But not the right kind of yogurt soup. Uh Jackie said it reminded me um after dark topic things. Oh wow, really? Dun, 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 dun. It finally hit me, yeah. <laughs> I think everybody heard you say that. Shauna said, I didn't like yogurt for a long time. I feel like I had this, I used to be milk flavor. And that's what I feel like uh, Yo Play and all of those are kind of like. Um, Haley said, it's my turn to wash dishes, isn't it? <laughs> Marie said, uh, I love fa oh fa yay. I'm not saying it right according to the pronunciation guy. They print on the container. <laughs> oh, but I like my pronunciation fa yay. But yeah, fa yay. Fragile. Okay. <laughs> right, fragile. Look, it says fragile. It must be French. <laughs> I love that movie. <laughs> Uh, Renee said, sounds like it would taste like red hot candy. Ooh, maybe so. Oh, yeah, we got to watch that too. What? Renee's on episode eight of Wednesday. Oh, yeah. yeah we do have that to well, watch. Well, let's go with this and we go start watching it. Um, I'm not watching anything tonight. Shauna said, that was so cute. Enola Holmes. I knew. I absolutely loved that movie. And I thought, um, Millie Bobby Brown did such a great job at it. And um, she's obviously a great actress, right? I mean, she's amazing in the role seven. And then to do this role, which I feel is totally different, right? Than, than her character seven just shows what great range she has as an actress. And yeah, that movie, it was just so cute. I just... I just really, really enjoyed it. Like, I thought later on that night after we watched it, I was like, 
wow, like I felt really immersed in the movie. And that doesn't happen that often. Um, oh, and Jamie said, yes, loved Enola Holmes. And Jama said, released on where? Um, I, I don't know. Enola Holmes. We don't look at where things are released. We just get them. So I don't know where. You could probably Google Enola Holmes, too, and it'll tell you. Uh, Shauna said, um, that's not my kind of comfort breakfast, though. I guess the fried fish. Marie said, my peanut allergic son can have hazelnuts with no issue. I even made a low-carb keto if you didn't eat the crust. Hazelnut pie for the holidays. Same as pecan pie, but hazelnuts instead. Wow. Well, what I've found, you know, because Heath has that issue, is basically peanuts are legumes. So they're not really a nut. So anything that's a legume, Heath can't have. So like um, if you've heard of lupin flour, well, lupin's a legume. So we're not going to chance it because if he can't have peanuts, he probably can't have lup uh, lupin either. Uh, but yeah, I read that real nuts are actually okay at least <clears throat> for him. So that's why he can have pecans, walnuts, and hazelnuts. But things like cashews, peanuts, lupin, um, and then now almonds is a little bit different because those aren't a legume, but there's some uh, lectins and almonds that we think interferes with heat. But I'm so glad you made that. That sounds like a really good pie. Hazelnut pie? It does. Oh, Shauna said she's excited for the crispy cookies. Oh, I hope you all really like it. I mean, if you don't like the recipe and you taste them and you're like, this is, you know, mm, um, little poop emoji, uh -huh. that's fine. Be honest with me. I could take it because I'd be like, oh, okay, I can see that. Yeah, that's probably not the best cookie <laughs> idea. Oh, Lisa's here. Hey, hey. Lisa. She says, hey, y'all, just got back from the drive-in. Ooh, what did you see? That lipstick is awesome. Oh, oh thank you. Look, you're just noticing no, the lipstick? No, I've been noticing all night. Oh. Ooh. We'll see y'all later. Uh, Marie said, you can make any cookie crispy if it's thin enough and you burn them. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Erythritol sweetener helps, but you need to counter the cooling effect with something else. I haven't experimented enough. Yeah, what I used was uh, we got a sweetener blend. So it's monk fruit and stevia blend. So I did use that and that and, and it does darken the cookies. So they will they're not going to be burnt, but they're definitely turned brown. Um. But that's what I learned is no eggs. Every recipe where I tried eggs, they still turned out chewy. Um, and no butter because there's too much water in butter. So neither one of those. So basically I'm using coconut oil. Um, and that seemed to do well. And yes, I agree. You do have to get them actually thin. Um, but you know what though? I mean, that's what I read too. Is to make them thin, um, but what I noticed on this cookie recipe I did, I did thin them out, right? Made them flat. But there was a couple that I just did like a melon ball scoop of. And they still turned out crispy. Remember? The little round. Those are the ones I was telling you. What are they called? The, there's a certain cookie they looked like and kind of had the same texture. Macaroon. That's what they look like to me. Yeah, they kind of look like a coconut macaroon. And the uh, texture is about the same, too. To me. Well, those are a lot chewier because they use usually sweetened condensed milk. Mm, yeah. But, but, yeah, it when I did it as a melon ball, um, it, it still got crispy, but the very center was a little bit chewy. But <sighs> I thought that was interesting. Uh, Blue Dove said, yay, at least I'm not the only one, Shauna. I've enjoyed them. I've been I I've been eating the crispy cookies. Marie said oatmeal cookie with butterscotch chips. Ooh, that sounds good. Shauna said I'm always trying to find crispy, crunchy things. Well, I hope you like these cookies. Crafty and carnivorous. We were just asking, you know, where is she at? Hello. I noticed that you're in Texas. We've been watching. She's been putting out a Vlogmas as well. And then 
her name crafty carnivorous it's not just like oh i'm crafty like she actually has a crafty channel y'all so if you're into crafting um i i forget the channel name but um jackie you could put i mean jackie crafty you can put it in there but she's also got a crafting channel that's pretty um neat too so uh but where in texas are you um let's see Shauna said, I finished Wednesday in two and a half days. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, Marie said, Enola Holmes 2 is out now. I think it was released like a week or two ago. Jackie said, Jelly, still haven't started it. Might be watching without Jim at this point. You know what? No. What? Watching without. Yeah, because we have a little tip this week because apparently I watched some shows without he. And she's oh yeah, watch this. Oh yeah, watch this. Look what's fixing to happen. Like, let me enjoy it. Well, here's my thing is like you know because at work you're bored because you don't do nothing. No, you get paid I, to do nothing. I work plenty hard, sir. But I like to have background noise, so that's why I'm always listening to audiobooks, to other YouTube channels, to podcasts and stuff, and I like to change it up. Um, so I uh was listening to some of the YouTube channels because I thought we had actually already watched them this past weekend. So I was like, well, I'm going to go through and give my little like and comment and watch. And then he was like, oh, look, we're pulling up Matreya's. And I was like, oops, I already saw those. And then he got all mad at me because I saw them. And I was like, well, it was an honest mistake. I didn't know we hadn't watched them. Do you remember what we do? What exactly? Jackie said, I hope they do another lock and key. Oh, what was that? Oh, okay. So Blue Duff said it's uh Netflix for Nola Holmes. Crafty and Karen Worse said, I need to catch up on some shows on Netflix. Yes. Jamie said, Lock and Key is awesome too. Finished Wednesday this past week. Good stuff. Now, see, I've never even heard of lock and key. What is lock and key? Write that down. Shauna said, hey, Shelly, I have powdered licorice. Wonder if I can use that in place of the knee. Oh, yeah, I think that would work perfect. Oh, good. She sent me the picture of the tea. I, I would do that, too. The powdered licorice, I think, would be really good. Basically, just anything that you would consider. Uh, I'm, I tr Again, these are like sugar like sugar cookies. So any seasoning that you wanted to do. So I was just combining what I felt was kind of like a holiday Christmassy type flavors. But yeah, you could do licorice and you have like even that tea might work well, like doing a sprinkle of the tea in there, uh, maybe ground it up. If it's loose leaf tea, you might want to grind it finer, but that might even be perfect in the in the cookies. Rykwood said, all right, folks, it's past my bedtime. I I'll see you all tomorrow for the cookie bake hey. or Sunday at Matreya's. Good night, Rykwood. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Lisa said, we watched Elf. We watch it every year and thought going to the drive-in would be fun. Oh, how fun. We took pillows and blankets. Chilly. It's 44. Wow. Did you all survive? Like, did you freeze your butt off or were you like, okay. That, that worked out well. Um, but that would be fun. We haven't even watched our Christmas movies yet. Uh, you don't want to watch Die Hard this year? We've seen it. Well, yeah, we've seen it. It's like not a Christmas times. movie anyways. Oh, really? <laughs> I want to hurt you. Uh, Marie said he can't do pecans, walnuts, or cashews. Oh, goodness. He's okay with almonds, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds, though. Oh, wow. He's decided not to try any others. May do allergy testing at some point. Oh, goodness, Marie. Wow. Yeah. Once you find out you have an allergy to something, it's you're just like, oh, is it worth the risk to find out? Like, just accept that, hey, this part of what you could eat, you're not going to eat, right? What was the thing we were reading? I think it was last night. Everybody was arguing that, that, that there was a clip where they were arguing about Die Hard being a Christmas movie. And the guy's like, Look, even the daughter's name was Holly. No, the wife. The wife's name was Holly. Yeah. Crafty mm -hmm. said she's in Northeast Texas. Oh, so you're probably up there by Blue Dove. That's cool. 
Um, she said, I don't know. I want to, but the hotels are so expensive. Oh, to go to KetoCon? Yeah. Uh, well, we're trying to do an Airbnb with a few people. If you don't mind being around a lot of dogs. So we're going to be bringing our two dogs. And um, I think Renee's bringing her two dogs. And yeah, so yeah, we might do that. But we're honestly, I haven't even started looking at Airbnb. Well, I have and I haven't. I found a couple places for Airbnb, but I just have to wait till January. Um, Marie said, put some bacon in the oven to make bacon jerky. Trying oh. it out with half a pound of bacon. Oh, that'll be good. Older Pennsylvania said, I am struggling to keep up with all the channels. I mean, it's a lot, right? Yeah. It's like a full-time job to watch all the different channels. You almost have to create your own little TV guide kind of thing. I know, right? That's why we've just been like binging each channel on certain days to try to get through Auto. it. But yeah. And my comments is. are always apologizing. I'm just not catching up. <laughs> right. Or uh, I like how Jackie just does hearts. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Marie says, Lock and Key is so awesome. What is Lock and Key? Uh, who's in it? I know. Who's in it? Lisa said, Shelly, what audio books are you listening to? I always have a book going in my ear while working unless I'm programming something. See, I'm not the only one. Huh? Uh, well, this week, I actually started um, a um, Greek mythology. It's, oh, I'm, I'm going to butcher this, but it's Delirious. Greek mythology, but y'all, this book was read by ready for this all star cast Paul Newman, Sidney Poitier, um, Kathleen Turner, and I feel like there's somebody else, and Matthew Project, and I feel like someone I feel like else told me Steve Martin or Mom making shit up. You're making stuff up, but I know for sure those four are the voice actors for this book. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. So I, I like to listen to, again, a lot of folklore, mythology, especially like great mythology is very um, intriguing to me. Um, and, oh, I did listen to some Anne Rice ones. Oh, let me tell you, Anne Rice's book on audio, I was like, oh. I had to make sure that was muted before I had any company meeting because, yeah, that was a little descriptive. Wow. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that, that, was, uh, whew, that was something to hear. But, um, yeah, so that's mostly what I've been listening to. And then Audible sent me a thing just today saying, hey, I get four months of Audible for $5.95. But does Audible, like, can you only do one book at a time? Or is it one book a month? Like, or can I do a whole bunch of books for that price? I didn't understand their whole little thing where it's like one, it said like one for $5.95 a month. And I'm thinking, is that being only one book? Because that ain't worth it. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been mostly listening to. Um, the green mythology is pretty cool, but it is a very, um, the one I'm listening to is a very intro. Like I think it's geared towards kids, um, because it's just a very high level of each of the Greek uh, okay. gods and goddesses. Like it's really just like two pages of each god and goddess and what, the, what they do in their history. Um, and then some others I've listened to really get in like the, I wish I could find the American folklore one. I'm horrible at remembering the names of these things, but the American folklore, like that really got into some really deep details. Like I was really loving it. And so I've been trying to find some Appalachian uh, folklore. Like I would love to read about that whole history. Um, but so I go through a local library and some of the others that I've read, like recommendations, like they don't have it. No, don't have it. Oh, can't find it. Here, do you want to read this um, teenage um, like love story? I'm like, that, that's not even what I'm looking for. I don't want to know how a teenage wolf found their mate. I don't know. So anyways, um, 
but yeah, there's some really good ones. Um, that's why I was thinking if I get audible, I should have a lot more options for these other books that I have like a huge list that I'd love to listen to, but I can't find it at my library. Um, oh, and Marie said it's on Netflix, the lock and key. Jackie said, Jim doesn't want to watch it without the sound bar. Oh, he got a 360 TV and a 1500 sound bar and the sound bar keeps disconnecting. So we're working on getting it fixed. We had repair guys here uh, three hours tonight. Wow. wow. Well, um, that's how he used to be. He was like, I have to have a sound bar. And then finally, our sound bar went out. And I said, we ain't back paying. Or no, we did get one at Costco. And it, that's what kept happening, kept disconnecting. Remember? Yeah. And so we took it back. And then ever since then, he hasn't had it and he likes it. Mm -hmm. Um. Shauna said they are tea bags. Well, you would just cut open the tea bag. I'm saying you could do that and use that. Uh, Crafty said, oh, awesome, Lisa. I'd love to be able to meet more people in this community. Well, see, that's why you got to go to KetoCon, especially when you're not that far away. Um, okay, Jackie said, Locky Key is a show that involves a family with magic keys. And evil people wanting them. Thought it would be dumb, but it's actually really good. But who's its star? Oh, really? Oh, now I want to see that. I want to see these magic keys. I need some. But he said, I love Die Hard. They have that at the drive-in also. Wow. Um, Lisa said, love Die Hard too. Mm -hmm. See, now, now he don't even want to... Um, Watch it. When are we going to do it, though? We have so much going on. <sighs> it's like we got to fix that to knock this off tonight because we got things to do in the morning. I know. Have a busy day tomorrow. <sighs> we sure do. Are we still going to Central Market? No. Oh, good. Uh, Shauna said, I just turned on my fan and a stack of cards went flying. Oops. Oh, that sucks. Oh, Crafty says she's just an hour from Paleo Barbie. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Where's she at? I think she's in Tyler. Oh, okay. Uh oh, you have three dogs? That's nice. Needless to say, I'm good with dogs, right? Oh yeah, because I knew I saw the one, your little black dog. So cute. Uh oh, Paleo Barbie speaking hey. of. Hey. Says hi guys. Hey, welcome. That was a Texas night. <laughs> I know, right? All the Texans are here. Woo! We said watch all the videos at one and a half or two times speed. We could do that. But that'd be something. And so how are we going to do that? I, I did that on somebody's video. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put, put it at 1.25. And I was like, oh, they sound so different. <laughs> <laughs> it threw me all off. Um, let's see here. Older Pennsylvania said, if I watch on TV, I try to follow up on the computer to hit the likes and comments, but it doesn't always happen. Lots of needs in our community keeping me hopping. Right? I'm sure um, it, it is. That's why a lot of times I play them at work because what I could do is open multiple tabs and I just mute all of them and I let them run through and I give my like and then I give my comment. That's why sometimes... You'll see instead of the warden, it has uh, Shelly as the name. And that's my other account. And yeah. Don't. Oh, I'm not supposed to tell that. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, that's what I'll do. And um, and give all the, you know, likes and views and all of that. Uh, Jackie said, hearts are short and sweet, just like me. Short and snarky anyways. <laughs> Nice. I can believe that. Lisa said, the cast sounds amazing. I'm listening to Red Rising right now. Oh. Older Pennsylvania said, half a pound of bacon would be in my belly before it gets to be jerky. Just saying. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? <gasps> what? That's what I should have got today. What? That's another slab of uh, pork belly so we can start making our own bacon again. Uh -huh. Um. Hala said, nothing wrong with short and snarky, right? I mean, I thought that was the best. 
Uh, older Pennsylvania said he needs to go to bed. Yes. I shows that and I'm fading. What time do you wake up this morning? Six when the dogs woke me up. Uh, and it was hard when I was waking up at like 7 15. I was like, I don't want to get out of this bed. It's so cozy and comfy. Let's go back in it right now. Okay. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I could just have a mental health day. I like that terminology. You know, back in, when I first started working, you couldn't have mental health days. You had to call in sick. Nowadays, uh, at least the last couple of employers I had like pushed this mental health day. They're like, if you're having a, if you're just getting stressed out, don't just force yourself. Just take a mental health day. That's what, it, that's what your uh, sick time is for. And I was like, that's kind of nice. Can I take a mental health week? Well, I mean, I, well, at one point, then you have to go on like short term oh, leave after so no many mind. days. I don't want all the paperwork. Uh, Lisa, I listen for free. With my library app, I'm too cheap to get Audible. Well, that's what I do, too. Um, now, is there a different? Because the library, I just go into the Harris County. That's Houston's Harris County Library. And I'm registered there. But they don't have, they don't have every book. Like, I kind of get disappointed. I'm like, really? And, like, there's some books that were published, like, in the 70s. I'd be really interested to read. But can't find them there. I can find them on Amazon for $20, $40. But they're not in the library. So is Libby, is that like an actual library? Like, do they have a bigger selection? And and that's free. So maybe I need to look that up, Lisa. Marie said one credit. I have the one credit per month at $15.95. But I've had it for years. I tend to use the credits on audio books that more than the credit what so you're saying let me just make sure i understand this so if i signed up for for audible i only get one book a month for the fee like i can't because i go through a, a book every couple of days like it you know when you listen for six to eight hours in a day you go through a book really fast so you're saying if i did audible I would only get one book. And so what do I do the rest of the month when I'm Podcasts. done with that book? Yeah, but there's no point in paying if I'm only going to get to listen uh -huh. for one or two days out of the right, month. That's true. That would annoy me. Older Prince of Peace said, there's a woman who reads books a chapter a week on Appalachia. She's amazing. What? Okay, you need to like tell me who that is because I would love that. Okay, Celebrate Appalachia is the channel. She has playlists for books she reads. See? That's what I need. Okay, I'm going to need to... Let me start this so I go back to it. Because I would enjoy that. And that's what I do. I listen to these different channels that are like, here's our book recommendations on this and that. And then I look them up on my library thing. And 90% of them they don't have. And then I'm like... Ugh. So oh, then I man. add it to my Amazon list, and so I can at least refer to that later because I'm like, well, maybe there'll be another one. Uh, Jamie said, Audible gives you a new credit every month, well, but I only need like 30 credits. Jackie said, there's no big names in lock and key, none that I recognized anyways. Okay. Uh, Lindy says, KetoCon or Bust, Right. Shauna said, one and a half to two speed YouTube marathon challenge accepted. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Jamie said, there is a selection of free stuff too. Also, if you don't like something you exchange a credit for, you can return it. Which I have to say, that is one thing with like audiobooks. I have noticed, at least from the library, there have been some audios where I'm like, okay, I can't with this anymore. Like, I'll try. I really try. And I'm like, okay, this is aggravating. There was one voice actor. I guess that's what you call them. But she was horrible. Like, horrible. I was like, I could have done a better job reading this book. Like, it was like she just opened up the book and started reading. And, and would have weird pauses. And you could tell, like, it had, you know, some detailed words. You know, more than four letters in them where she was just like oh i don't know how to pronounce this like you could tell it's what she was thinking and then she'd try to pronounce it and she'd be like 
um, Lily's less sugar, sweet life. And then she did that. Uh, ha hazelnut butter filled dark chocolate 55% cocoa stevia sweeten uh, and it was just like oh my gosh I was and I they was, published that yes wow. I was laughing so hard because I was like somebody had to listen to this before she voiced it right or after she voiced it like who gave the okay? Like she was obviously, I was thinking maybe it was one of those things because I used to do these sites where you could do a job and you would get paid if you completed that job. Like a lot of it was typing, but they also had where you could voice stuff. And I'm thinking maybe that's what she did. She just was like, well, I need $5. Here, I'll voice this book. Because <laughs> I mean, it was like obvious she had never read it before. And she didn't even like some of the words. I was like, oh, you completely butchered that word. Um, but yeah, some of them, though, it, they're whoever does the voice. Sometimes I'm just like, I can't with this voice. Uh, Shawna said, uh, my job is a mental health day. Uh -huh. That's true. Uh, Jackie said, I love Richard on one and a half speed. His laugh is awesome sped up. Look at y'all with these speed up uh, options. I'm I don't I've only done that like once or twice. Marie said, "Yep, yeah, you can only buy one book per month." Okay, well, obviously I'm not going to be doing that because that would just tick me off. Uh, Lisa said, "My library has 95 percent of the books I look for." Libby is the app my library uses. Oh, see, mine doesn't. Harris County has their own. Um, their own one. Oh, thanks. Jackie sent me the, um, the link to lock and key, but yeah, my library, um, it's the Harris County and then they have, um, they have their own, oh, I don't have it saved, but they have their own, um, like system that they use and it's just i think part of it is i i look for a lot of probably outdated books and i guess they just don't get them or it could be that maybe this library is more of the like looking for the top 50 or something i don't know um but that is that's pretty cool why are you taking that down i figured we just leave it up and we'll use it tomorrow oh i'll okay. tear my stuff up Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Older Pennsylvania said, Dory, A Woman in the Mountains was my favorite book she read so far. Oh, that sounds interesting. I like Dory, A Woman of the Mountains. I like that name. Woman in the Mountains. All right, I'm going to the bed. Uh, well, you need to clean this stuff up I and know. you need to make the calm. Aren't you going to drink some too? I don't think I need to. <laughs> Yeah, but then you get in bed and you're like, oh, I can't get to sleep. Uh huh. I'll just sleep right here then. Oh, okay. Older Pennsylvania said, sometime it is a text to speech and they pronounce funny. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've done that because a couple of them. So I try to look just for audiobooks at the library, but sometimes all they have is the ebook. Uh -huh. Uh, and then, or they just have the book and I'm like, I ain't about to go to the actual library to get a book, and especially because it's the Harris County one downtown. Well, or it might be the one in Katy or the one in Clear Lake. Like one of them, it was like, oh, you want this book? Oh, you go get it from the Clear Lake office. I'm like, I ain't gonna drive to Clear Lake. Like if y'all don't know Houston, like that's an hour away. Uh, whereas I actually have a library that's what five minutes from the house. Yo, know, you probably don't know, but Mercer. Right I don't there. even know how to spell library. I believe that. Um, but anyways, uh, and of course, it's never the library that's right here. Um, but oh, yeah, Podunk Town. It's not even a town, but yes. That's what um, I'm saying. Some of the ebooks, I'll just download them. And on certain Kindle, because they're usually Kindle, um, and I never do that. Kindle has a whole library section, but you have to go through the library to do it. So I'll download it into my Kindle 
as a library lease. And um, I, on some of them, I could do text to speech through Kindle. Oh, but some of that was torturous too, because I'm like, oh, I do not like this voice. And then the, it also had weird stops in it because if the page ended, that's where they, blah, blah, blah. And then what was weird on the text to speech is like, you know how a chapter will have like its little title? So it'll say, um, you know, chapter one mountain woman does blah 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 and he because it's text to speech and there's no period in the title it reads the whole the title plus the first sentence all together so it's really weird i'm like what okay yeah that's not what they meant um jackie said i speed up on lives if i hop on late oh okay marie said you entered your library card into the libby app to borrow books digitally so maybe I can see if I have the Libby app. I'll have to look that up. Um, Crafty said, oh, that's awesome. I didn't know that. And Lindy said, poor Heath. I know. Poor thing. All right. We'll say goodbye. Let's finish uh, catching up, and then we'll say goodnight. Uh, Marie said, I love it. I listen on my commute a lot. It can get through two to three audiobooks a week. That's how I am. Like, I, it's easy to get through it. Uh, Crafty said, I bet it makes the commute go by faster. Oh, it does. Yeah. And it makes my day go by faster. Though sometimes I'm like, wait, what did they just discuss in the book? Because I got totally engrossed in work and I didn't hear whatever they just read. Uh, Jackie said, I don't have a library card. Might need to get my hands on one. Well, mine, you registered all through, like, of course, my Terrace County, I just registered and they gave me a digital card right then. Like, I didn't have to go to the library. So, don't feel like you need to go to a library. It's 2022, almost 2023. Everything's digital. Right. Oh, man. And this tea is the best tea I have ever had. And it, to me, it tastes very sweet. Like, I'm loving this stuff. I'm going to be so sad when it's over, though. Um, Shauna said, I'm feeling tired like Keith, but I start work in an hour. Oh, you know what that means? You need more coffee, Shauna. All right. You ready to say goodnight? Yeah. Oh, poor thing. Uh-huh. I still got, like every week, I still got to take stuff to the street. I know. Did you all like our little Christmas tree back here? My furn no, my furniture. Your my what? chores. I got to do my chores. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you all so much again yes, for thank tuning you. in to the Friday Night Feast. We love it so much. And uh, thank you for all of the cards, the gifts, everything you all sent to us. We really appreciate it. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. And again, if you're a channel member, we'll see you tomorrow for the cook along. I hope it goes really well. And then uh, make sure everybody tunes in to Sunday with uh, Radical Geeks Coffee Talk. So I don't even know what, I didn't even ask what she's doing Sunday. But anyways, see y'all. Have a wonderful week. If we don't see you, I mean, we'll be on next, next Friday. I mean, this is our life. Um, but if we don't see you, because I know people have plans, have a merry, merry, merry Christmas. And happy holiday and merry sol solstice and everything else. So thank you guys. Bye. Good night. Have a great.